at wall. Idiot difficulties. Idiot difficulties, yes. <laughs> ah, are we live? I do not know. I don't right. know. I, I will say yeah. you're like you're still having issues with the stream delay is it's pretty bad. Oh, yeah. Like for me it's like 15 seconds. Oh, there we go. Hi, are we alive? Friends. We are alive. I see somebody. Yay. Yay. Hello. Hello everyone. How are you doing? Ouch, chat. Today we're just going to wait for a few people to come in. Get situated, I say, because I'm clearly not running late <laughs> and trying to <laughs> fix everything. Shh, it's okay. I, it, it, no, in today's world, you're you're early. It's I was about to say we're actually making pretty good time. Hey, I mean we're getting better at it. We haven't had anyone be late for the last thirty minutes. <laughs> because remember that we had that was the thing we did, being late yep. for thirty minutes. Everyone who said they'd be here is actually here. Yeah. Let's go. I consider Yay. this a win. This is a win, guys. Do not take this away from me. <laughs> uh, all right, hold on. I forgot my VTuber is a little high up, so we're gonna grab her and we're gonna just pull her down. There we go. Ah. <laughs> Model VTuber. Just, just slow, tedious movements. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. The eyes are messed up still because I have to wear the blue light glasses. So she just blinks yeah. a lot now. Yeah, Unless I, I take them out and then. I have noticed that, yes. Yeah. That's why I'm building the 3D model. Actually, I can show you guys a work in progress of that later. Show us the model. You want to see the 3D model? <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll show you all the 3D model. But we have first the lesson to get through because I did promise um, Matthew if he's here that what are you watching you're watching a stream it's not a good stream but it's a stream <laughs> <laughs> uh hi tata hi what's up the sky um insert words here yeah be like that letters yes um <laughs> how y'all doing this morning i need to fix the stream delay i, I gotta figure out how to you know do big brain time well, like I said, you have to, at least when I do a stream, I have to go down to 720p and then my stream delay is maybe five seconds at the worst. Five seconds at the worst? Yeah. What is mine at? Because I, I swear that I change it. Well, like I said, at least when it, on YouTube it's still showing us 1080p as an option. So that means you are streaming at that level. All right, because I have low lat latency quality that's on. Well, I'm just saying because I don't know what internet speed you have, but I have... I have... The, the best one, and even then, I can't do 1080p for some reason. There's just too much delay. It's annoying. Thank you, speed of light. I'm in college, using college Wi-Fi. So... <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. There's your... <laughs> that is your problem. Yeah, I am using college Wi-Fi. Hi, uh, I have a question. So about your second video, care to explain which second video? Uh, oh, I that if we mean second video ever uploaded on this channel, that is the uh, it's the AI dungeon. AI. Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, yes. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I mean, oh. <laughs> read, the, read the title of the video. I think that explains everything. Yeah. Uh, ooh. Um, mm. the, th the thumbnail, I think, also <laughs> kind of explains um, who was responsible for writing it. Yeah. Listen, man. Mistakes were made that day. That's all I got to say. Mistakes were made. Disclaimer, it was not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, because people know me as a writer, but no, that was not my work. Yeah, no. Um, I wasn't a part of streams at the time that video went up, so I'm uninvolved as well. I I didn't want to be a part of that. It happened, okay? <laughs> <laughs> they they sent me a file, and I was a fool who read it. The buff... Oh, listen, listen, listen. The buff muffin will come, okay? Kevin will come. But you have to understand, that script is seven pages long. 
and I'm in college, and my level of stress cannot handle Kevin or the Buff Muffin right now, okay? I have enough friends trying to hype me up on pre-workout that I don't need that shit. <laughs> I can't, buddy. I can't. Not maybe next year. Maybe I'll animate it over summer when I don't have 20 credits to worry about. Speaking of 20 credits, da da da. Transition time. Uh huh. See what I did there? Hi. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, Incredible. Incredible. Yes. I'm great at this thing called uh. Being entertaining, clearly. Yeah, no. Um, but I did promise uh, Matthew that I would go. Seems like he's not here. Which, a little sad, but it's okay. Um, I did we'll say. We'll do it again when he gets here. It's the thought that matters. It's worst case scenario. I have record of that. I listen to the community. Um, what are you gonna learn? This potato, Shh, it's okay. Calm down, it's okay. I promise, it's literally only like, the actual presentations is only five slides long. It's literally just pictures. <laughs> I'm in school, okay, so I know what a shitty PowerPoint is. This is literally five slides long. <laughs> Speak, so with that. A quick lesson. Let's get into it. Hello, welcome class. I am your VTuber teacher today. And today we're going over a really crappy uh, PowerPoint that I made in the morning at 6 a.m. <laughs> Let us begin with the first lesson of discipline. <laughs> 3 a.m. to the ring, let's go. Yeah, that's right. We're cramming. <laughs> we're cr yes, we're cramming right now. But before we get into it, I realize that the thing is cut off because I'm an idiot. So I'm going <laughs> to zoom in as I zoom out. Let's go. And I want to reiterate that we are good streamers and content creators because we give credit. This is the credit slide. It's also about you guys and you need any uh, pretty PowerPoints. Just go here for free. Also, stock images are free too. Da -da. All right. Yep. Now. Always be sure to credit. Our this. Yes. Is it going to be a little more serious? Right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move myself down so you can see us. Hi. Hello. Uh, <laughs> no. This is not a glorification of work. There is such a thing as too much work. And I want this presentation to help you work smarter, not harder, all right? I think we live in a society now where we often over congratulate long hours and you know, just, you know, coming home at ridiculous times. Like in Asia, I know there's this thing called the 996, which is you work from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. six days a week. In my personal opinion, that is abusive and nobody should do that to themselves and nobody should enforce that on other people because you should live a life. And work is not life. If you are thinking, sleeping, and consuming work 24-7, and that's, in my opinion, is a form of addiction because that's the only thing in your mind. It's not healthy. It's okay to walk away. Don't overdo it. All right. The warning out of the way. Let's continue on. Now, these are my sources. That's right, guys. I'm a nerd. I know we established this, so don't judge me. Too late. Oh, oh, okay. Nerd! <laughs> <laughs> I love to read books, and when I was in a really bad place in life, which is COVID, um, I read a lot of books because I couldn't see my friends, and the internet scared me a lot. So I went back to the good old uh, paperbacks, and these books really helped me a lot. I know that, you know, uh, George Carlson had that whole skit uh, where he was hitting down on self-help books. And to a certain degree, he's right. There's a lot of books that are just kind of saying the same bullshit over and over again. But I personally think these two are incredible and they have some uh, great reviews. So if you ever want to sit down and, you know, read some more about what we're going to talk about, these are the two books to go for. I'm not going to recommend any more just because you're smart people. You, you figure out what you need to. All right. Now, step one in making and getting disciplined. 
make your bed. Now, what I mean by this is when we start talking about developing, you know, new habits and new routines and stuff like that, I feel like we very often don't talk about the preparation and getting to a healthy mindset to do so, right? Like there's a lot of times at 3 a.m. where I'm like, I'm going to learn how to play the piano. Not a good time. No. (laughs) What you need to do and what I did is you have to give yourself little wins before you start diving into something big, right? You have to be happy of where you are before you start adding more to it. And when I was in one of the worst depressions of my life, I started by waking up every morning and making my bed. You know, it's not a big thing, but it starts your day off of a win. And sometimes you just need that to get started. And after I got into the routine of just making my bed, I started uh, making my own breakfast again. I didn't go out to buy it. And slowly and surely, I started liking myself again because I was giving myself little wins. I felt like I wasn't wasting the day away. So before you even get started trying to make, you know, big life-changing habits, give yourself little wins. Give yourself a sustainable, I can do more mindset. So step one, make your bed. Now, you got into your mindset of, I can do it. I gave myself wins. I'm feeling good about myself. Step two is actually developing a plan of action. So what you actually want to do and executing it. I'm not going to give you guys a play-by-play how to, you know, plan out something. Everyone plans differently. I personally do the thing where I write down five things I want to do that day. And I do my best to complete them all. But what I really want to iterate here is listen to the tomato. Now, what I mean by this is the Pomodoro effect or technique, which is basically give yourself planned breaks within work sessions. If you're trying to develop a new skill, it's going to be frustrating. If you're trying to uh, develop discipline, it's hard because it's something new. So you want to plan to have breaks in there. And what the Pomodoro technique is, is basically... You work for a certain uh, section of time, and then you have a break, and then you come back to it. Studies have actually shown that if you work past an hour, your retention of whatever you're learning drops by like 80%. Ain't fun. You're losing time, and you're losing effort there and then. It's okay to give yourself a break, plan for it, accommodate for it, learn with it. Listen to the tomato. Step two, or whatever step we're on now. I'm not good with numbers. I say as a data scientist. Uh, (laughs) Maintenance and flexibility. It's going to be hard to develop and stay consistent. So don't be hard on yourself when you mess up. What I like to do when I'm developing a new skill is something called the two-day rule, which is basically you can give uh, yourself a day off but never make it two days, right? For example, I was trying to get back into running because I used to run a lot in a freshman year. And sometime, like this uh, year, I try to go to the gym every day. Nope, <laughs> did not happen. Big no, capital no, capital O, capital period. That's the thing, did not happen. But I didn't beat myself up because of it because I did something called a two day rule where I allow myself you know, to go every other day. It's a big enough gap where you don't lose your your habit, but you're no longer stressing every single day to make it happen. All right, give yourself a breather. Things happen, shit happens. So don't dock yourself if you miss a day. Just try your best to make the next one. And now if you notice here, I drew a really bad X over Sunday because I'm of the person who believe that you shouldn't have every day planned because again, shit happens. Give yourself a buffer. Give yourself a day to yourself where either you can catch up on work, you can pursue something you want to do that you didn't really think of, or you just sleep. Sleep's great. It's your rest day. You could have it at any day you want of the week. Just give it a day to yourself where you can wake up and be like, I have nothing planned to do. This day is just for me. It's a good resetter. Then 
is staying motivated. And what I did personally to get myself out of the slum and to keep myself going is write down your perfect day. Uh, it's kind of like a letter to yourself, right? That if you feel like you can't go on, you pull out the letter and you read it to yourself. And you read it over and over and over to kind of remind you of why you're even doing this. For me, my perfect day is the day I'm able to adopt my kid. I want to adopt. And I wrote down the morning, the afternoon, and the evening of that day. And I'll share it to you now. The day will start with me waking up, not caring about the weather, because I can't control that. Instead, what I focus on is getting to my car and driving to my adoption center that I have my kid waiting for me. It doesn't matter if they're a boy or a girl or if they don't identify with either one of them. They're my kid. And today's the day I take them home. I go in, I sign the final paperwork, and I leave my kid to my car. The first thing we do, I ask them because this is around lunch now because, you know, papers take forever. Where do you want to go? It wouldn't matter anywhere the kid wants to go. The kid wants to have shellfish for the first time. The kid wants to have red lobster. If the kid wants to go, I don't know, to a five-star Michelin uh, restaurant, I'm going to cry myself to sleep tonight, but it's okay. It's my kid. And I promised him the first meal, wherever he wants to go or where they want to go. And we go there. And they have whatever meal they want. After lunch, I take them to the pound where they are allowed to save someone else, where they're able to save someone else. And I let them choose their pet, whether that be a cat, dog, parrot, fish. I want to give them the ability on day one to know that they are not helpless and that they can help someone else. So I'll let them pick a friend. Whoever they want will make it happen. And then we go home where, you know, I help them move into their room. I help the dog or the cat move into their room because it's their friend. They should have the animal's bed within, with them so they don't feel alone. Because in a sense, I'm still a stranger. And it's going to be scary to live in a stranger's house for a while. And by the time we get everything situated, we go to a park. And I kind of let them explore the neighborhood, kind of get you know used to their surroundings. And maybe play fetch with the animal. The animal is able to play fetch. Who knows? Maybe we'll teach a cat how to catch a frisbee. <laughs> and then when the evening comes, we go home. And I make them a home-cooked meal. Chicken noodle soup, amber style, which is basically kind of a porridge mix instead of noodles with chicken broth instead of water and chicken strips and green onions. So, you know, a home-cooked meal. And my kid will, by then, will go into a food coma because it's good dinner, good food. And I stay up and I'll just write in my journal, I did it. And that's how the day ends. And that's what I work for. And every day I wake up and I feel like I can't do it. I read the actual letter I wrote to myself to remind me that's what I want to do. And that every day, if I keep at it, I'll get closer. And that is the best form of motivation I think anyone can have. It's just a reminder of why did you start and why you should continue. And the person that best motivates you is you. So write down why you want to do it. Write down your perfect day. And as promised, that's the presentation. See, not too long. We're not in college, guys. I'm not going to give you guys one of those 20-page PowerPoints. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, that's it. Excellent. Incredible. Thank you very much. This has been, yeah. this has been most enlightening. Big applause. Yay. Also, bi also big hugs. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Got yep, I'm looking at the timeline now, guys. What the hell is this? <laughs> What the hell is this? I like how I was going to sentimental bullshit, and now I'm here, and I'm like, why are we talking about five guys? 
<laughs> Yo, bankruptcy burger? I love Bank- bankruptcy burger. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Uh, but yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe I should have made the presentation in dark mode. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um That's good. The theme was a QA. Yeah, I wanted to well, I also promise I I kind of give a little play by play on how I do things. So I made a very five uh like just a five slide thing because it's come on guys this is a stream it ain't school so just i wanted to get uh, lay out the biggest ones and leave it up to q a time do you have any questions you want me to elaborate on anything or do you have anything else you want to talk about and i'm okay sharing this stuff with you guys because i think it's it's necessary you know, it's one thing to just, you know, offer an escapism from reality. It's also a good thing to just kind of be like, how you doing today? Let's, let's talk about life. Because <laughs> mm. sometimes you need to have those conversations. Yes. Yeah. Bring it somewhere real. Yeah. And I'm not afraid to say what my uh, number one day is. All right, Potato, what is your question? And we wait for the lag because I mm-hmm. hate my lag. Oh my god! <laughs> Do you like Chuck E. Cheese? God damn it! <laughs> oh. Um, I I don't mind answering this. I do not. I have been once in my life, and it's quite possibly some of the worst pizza I've had in my life. Now maybe that's a location thing. Maybe it's specifically where I was, but didn't did not enjoy. Would not go back personally. Um. Oh, okay. Uh, have you actually been to a Chuck E. Cheese? Who are you asking? I have never been to. Okay, I'm chat. I'm adding myself here. I haven't been to Taco Bell. I haven't been to Chuck E. Cheese. I haven't. Have I been? I haven't been. Have I been to Wendy's? See, these, I don't these, think these. I've been to Wendy's, guys. I live underneath a rock and I make myself breakfast in the morning that usually carries me throughout the day. Okay, I make myself a big breakfast. So I haven't really been to a lot of fast food chains. All right, um, so I need to. So I already, I already have on my list. I need to take you to Taco Bell, and now <laughs> I need to put down on my list. I need to take you to Wendy's. Now, that said, at least I can answer the Chuck E. Cheese because I've been there a couple times when I was a kid. It was and it was bad then. It was bad now, and <laughs> obviously because you know you have the only good thing about going there was the fact that you know as a kid you didn't have to pay for the food, so free food, free food is always great. But and, and especially when you know they gave you a couple quarters to play the games, but obviously now we all know that's a whole that's a big rip off. You know, it's it's the, the you just lose so much money trying it's, to win anything at Chuck E. Cheese. So yeah, it's just no. Yeah, it's the mobile games before cell phones. Exactly. I don't think I ever really been to an arcade except for like uh, Peter Pizzas or whatever it is. Peter Piper Peter Pizza. Peter Piper yeah. Pizza. Listen. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Actually, oh, that, actually, that's that 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 place is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Um. All right. So that's the Chuck E. Cheese question. That, that actually has some more questions. Uh. Why? I I can't. Why? What? I don't know. Potato. Why? Why is anything in life? Um. Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. how's your day been? You know, it's doing good. I woke up this morning. I beat the sun. I'm having a good day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! That, I need nice, that. nice question. Can we have a drawing of you actually beating up the sun? Yeah, actually, <laughs> no, like I, actually, my first. Yeah, go ahead, ask Solar. Um, when I do my first podcast episode, because I yes, guys, I am working on a podcast. Shh, it's okay. Quiet. It's all right. Quiet. It's it's coming soon. I'm not gonna give you a date, but it's coming. The first episode is why I wake up early in the mornings because I'm I am totally a morning person. I want to I want to argue why. Um, because waking up early, big win. Um, do you and Big Smart me want no what? <laughs> uh, I would say. I mean, I got invited to South by Southwest to represent my school's uh, information. So I, if that counts for anything, yeah. 
So yeah, I'm going to South by Southwest for the school of information to represent about uh information in uh and technology in college and to give an argument on why we need to update uh the education system so i'll be giving a presentation there and what else i i turned down an offer to go to like a uc san diego um water competition i think i told you this thomas right the water wheel because I got bored. Remember, it's the wheel that uh, mimics a slug's movement, the natural uh, mimicry of origami. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Now. Yeah, uh, I got bored, so I stopped doing it, and I also fell into a depression, so I didn't go to UC San Diego for the competition. Understandable. Yeah. Um. Ooh. Actual question: What would your thoughts be if your adopted child came out as bl insert non-straight sexuality? They're my kid. It shouldn't matter. They're my kid. You know, I adopt them for who they are. I don't uh, adopt them for anything else, right? Like, everyone will have things that you won't inherently agree with. And I'm not saying I disagree or anything if they, you know, change their, if their sexuality is non-straight. But that should not be a make or break factor. Because they're my kid. You should love them. Yeah. I am a firm believer of if they're your family, that you do what you can to, you know, remind them that they are loved and that if any, you know, that they will always have a place to go fall home. Because the world is a hard place. Don't make home any harder. Um, da -da. Yeah, guys, like, that's the kind of reason why I, I, I came back to do streaming and I, I do my best to, you know, talk to the community is because I care. I think I care too much sometimes. Um, but I think that's okay because I don't think enough people care enough. So, maybe it's me being a greenhorn and trying my best to uh, accommodate for everyone, but... We're in a small enough site that I think it's possible to, to do that and, you know, call you out by name. So thank you, Solar, for the uh, question. Speaking about community, um, we had, we were running late today's stream because we had to sit down and we were uh, um, talking about updating the rules and guidelines of our Discord because we're starting to kind of get a feel of what the community's like. So we're going to change that up a little bit. We will put an announcement in the Discord if you're a part of it. We're adding another channel as kind of like a comp as a midway compromise for some of the things we talked about and we just want to ask you guys please participate please be nice and that we want that to be a safe and caring environment if you guys want to add anything to that yes join our discord <laughs> indeed <laughs> link in the description yes i think yes it should I, be. I hope it is yay there it is top top we're, link we're smart yeah, and also, Outlaw is not a bot. He is real. And every day, he sends cute and awesome morning memes. We love it, okay? He sends something from a Japanese game show that I have no idea how to pronounce, nor do I have ever watched before, but I love it. <laughs> they're so <laughs> they're so out of this world, I love it. Yes, shameless plug. <laughs> yes, shameless plug for MSC. Yeah. And yes, they are on Twitch. I don't know how they avoid copyright issues, but they do have their own channel. So if you want to see that, then... Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, next question. Do you guys want art stream or do you want to have a 3D modeling stream? Yes. That is not an answer that I am <laughs> accepting at this point in time. I have no idea, but my nose has been acting up, so I might have to, like, either mute or get off a little, in a little bit. Well, so. you do what you need to do, okay? Yeah. No judging. I'm good, dude. Both. Based solar. <laughs> ba okay, all right. Solar, solar, so what my you guy. Do is you draw a new model <laughs> and then you model it in 3D. Actually, I mean, I could paint the model. Uh oh. You guys, <laughs> I, I can paint. Paint our minifigures. I, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> um, art stream. The big question is probably art. It's 
time you look inside and ask yourself the real questions. Would you prefer a 3D modeling Oh, it's not Blender. It's a uh, ZBrush. I took... I, um, because I'm in college, I decided to do what I can with my student, uh, student status. So I was able to get ZBrush for a little bit. How about this? This is what I'll do. I'll open ZBrush. I'll let you guys look at the model. If everyone starts screaming, I will close it and we'll, and we'll say it never happened. Okay? Okay. <laughs> this is a bad idea, but it's a bad idea in the making because that's what we are. <laughs> yes. I mean, if you if, if you're gonna be sinking so much money into college, then might as well use what whatever free stuff you can get. Yeah. So it's okay, okay chat. It's okay. Don't don't no screaming yes. yet. All right, you haven't seen it yet. Yes. Preemptive. Ah! <laughs> okay, listen. <let's, yeah. laughs> <laughs> that cut off. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> that was that was a good scream. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Oh. Yeah. And then if any questions come in, yeah, go ahead. Like, I have nothing to hide. If it's something like very personal, like what's my IP address? Uh, where is your, where are you located? Are all your organs in a healthy shape? I'm not answering that. <laughs> um, because what, I don't know. I dropped out of going to med school, okay? <laughs> oh, well, it, it, okay. I, I can throw one out there just yes. as a general question. What would be your favorite food? Caramel. I love caramel. I have a problem, okay? We have acknowledged this. <laughs> My favorite beverage is apple juice. Ghost story. What? Ooh. Someone caramel. said in chat, ghost story. Ghost story. Uh... I actually kind of have one. Ooh. Wait, wait, is that what we're doing? All right. We're talking about ghosts Oh, no, there? I was just going to tell them while you get the other stuff ready. <laughs> Are all your organs in healthy shape? <laughs> <laughs> I really hope so, man. I'm young and I'm dumb, okay? I kind of need healthy organs to uh, compensate for all my dumb actions in life. What drug would I prefer to be addicted to? Oh, you know, weed, except I can't smoke it because I'm allergic to it. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, but that's, that's, that's so funny. I I know <laughs> you're suffering, but at the same oh, no, time... it's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> all right. And I love it. Anyway. Uh, the ghost story, it's just a small one. So when I was at, um, when I was at, my, like, an older house that I was living at, um, I was leaving my bedroom, and I was, and I looked into my parents' bedroom, and underneath their bed, I just saw two glowing eyes. Bruh. You yeah. gotta run. And I got, I went, nah, fuck that. And then I've been scared of the dark ever since. For me, I actually used to sleepwalk. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, it was a really bad thing, actually. Uh, because one time I woke up and I wasn't in my house. Uh, huh. I woke up fun. and... Because the thing with sleepwalking is... You're able... To actually... You're, you're able to move uh, around. Like, there's sometimes when, like, people are able to... Uh open doors, look inside the fridge, you know, things like that. They're not, they're just not aware of their actions. Uh, so apparently, I walked out of the house, unconscious. Nice. <laughs> and I woke yes. up on a bench in like, in my neighborhood. And I'm just like, oh God. So, yeah. It was no bueno. That'd be funny no. if you went to like Starbucks at Dutchburg or something. <laughs> something there while asleep. You just oh wake God, back yeah. up, you're like, you have Dutch Bros in your hand, you're like, how the fuck did this happen? I'm possessed. It was the coffee fairy. <laughs> yeah, it was it was yeah. weird. I was like I don't think Hello. Alright, uh da da. -da. Here is the ZBrush model. If you guys start screaming, I apologize, but I've been wanting to do 3D modeling and you guys haven't let me. It's okay though. It's All okay. Right. It's so okay. I have a question in chat. What games are you interested in playing slash planning on to, to play in, on stream? Ah, uh, ooh. I want to play Pokemon. I have never actually played Pokemon. The gasp. Uh, no, yeah. Um, 
when I was younger, I did have a DS, but by the time I got my first DS, uh, I was already in high school, kind of, and you know, we had to start getting serious because I was raised in a very academic household. And so I was, it was kind of drilled into me to just study, study, study. And I got panic attacks when I to sit down and play video games. And I was bad at them. I was so bad at video games, man. I got my ass kicked by a char, so I think. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but I just remember my brother had a lot more fun playing the games. So I gave him my DS and I never really finished or started a Pokemon game. I never played Mario. I love that we went to Pokemon immediately when you're on call with someone called Ace Trainer Lannon. Yeah, no, that's exactly yeah. why I mentioned it. <laughs> oh, so okay. It's really only unnerving because Amber has no color yet. But what do you guys think of- yeah, this is the model. I've been working on this in secret because I want to make my own 3D model so I can have hand tracking. I'm not gonna buy hand tracking, I'm gonna build my own suit because I'm s broke. And I'm also stupid slash smart enough to do it. So, yeah, this is Amber's model for 3D. I I try my best not to make it like anime. Like, you know, a lot of the like Hollow live streamers and stuff like that where they don't have a nose. And, you know, they're just basically 3D anime characters, which is fine. But that's not my style. So I kind of followed more in the line of Pixar. Hey, hey, buddy. Out of curiosity, yeah. Uh, what is that rendered in? How, what what number is that rendered in? Uh, ten point eight million. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> you wanna, uh, again? Excuse me. Uh, you don't okay. have a terabyte of RAM. Uh, yeah. You know what? You're right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I... Well, no, I haven't. Here's the thing. This is me modeling it. I haven't. Uh. I haven't re apologized it yet for actual uh, rigging. So what I'm gonna have to do is, that's why I'm I'm building as high quality as I can in ZBrush because it's easier to go down in quality than it is to go up, in my personal opinion, because you just need to simplify the shapes, right? But you want the shapes to be in there first. Now, I actually, okay, I do, I do value you guys' opinion. Do you like, would you like to see this thing in motion? Well, not right now, but, are you okay? Oh. Do you guys like the more 2D model I have right now? Or, or do you want... Because either way, I am going to show the 3D model in motion, but I just want to see what's your preference right now from what you see. That is a purely aesthetic question, and I've, I've, I've always been more of a 2D person. More than, but again, more that's 2D. just because I grew up in an era where it was mainly 2D for quite a bit, and I guess just when 3D started to come around, it was not good. It has not aged well. And so even though like nowadays it's, it's, it's really impressive just how far we've gotten. But again, it's just a personal preference. I'm with it, I'm with it. Yeah, the big reason why I built 3D model here is because I want to add hand tracking and do some more like motion following stuff because right now I could just wiggle. I'm a wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The range of motion will probably be superior with the 3D model. Is that the idea? The idea is so like, because what I want to do is I've started learning Unreal Engine as well. And what I think will be really cool is to have like, you know how ASMR streams, again, uh, you know how they have like um, the different sounds and stuff like that they make. But what if I just lead you to a different world and we just walk through and have a different soundscape? So we're walking together in a virtual world. So it's not really gameplay, but I'm using it more so because it has a high render rate. And if I could put my 3D model in there, like a guide, so we just walk together in a 3D space, I think that'll be kind of cool. Not only that, I, I can, I can uh, give myself bunny ears if I wanted to, like put my hand behind my head. All right, I don't know, weird hand <laughs> motions. Do not take that out of context. I know this chat. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> bad Chad and bad Amber for coming to that conclusion before you guys did. Um, but yeah. So what does chat say? What do they think yeah. of model? 
I think people. it's approval. It's You're approval. getting some good approval for this, yeah. Yeah. yeah it looks like a why don't we cross this bridge when we get there? Ooh, 3D? Yes, okay. <laughs> I think it's worth doing like once once it's finished, it's worth doing one stream with a 3D model, see how it goes, and then yeah. we can evaluate. Because yes. I'm giving the model the ability to wiggle the nose. <laughs> you know, oh my God. yes, uh, I am, <laughs> I'm gonna do that dumb thing when like you sniffle on the nose sometimes. <laughs> so it's not gonna be a stiff figure because I want to make sure everything follows good movement. That's why I'm gonna spread my winter break doing it's just bashing my head against Blender and making it work. Mm. But yeah, I try my best to keep it Pixar-y. I think I did a good job. I don't know, though. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you guys want me to keep working on the 3D model, or would you rather me go back and we do something 2D? And, uh, art. In the land of art. Let us know in the chat now. VChat Amber? Honestly, yeah! I mean, fuck it, why not, man? <laughs> I'm okay with that. All right, people want me to go back to 2D. Okay. Wait a second, I just had a thought. Yeah? You could upload it to VR chat and do like a VR chat stream at some point. Honestly? Actually, why not? Yeah, I'll do that once I have money. <laughs> <laughs> and I can have money. What is well, I mean, money? You you can also like um you can also do a uh, VR chat with like non VR stuff. You can just do it on this desktop. Well, I mean, I'm getting I bought a new phone for face tracking. Uh, mm -hmm. Um so I will do that anyway. Like another reason why I wanted to get to make a 3D model is for better face tracking because right now in order for you guys to get, you know, my eyes not jittering, I, I can't wear my glasses. And that's not good if you're doing three hour streams and you're a coder. Because you make it a VR chat world. That's what I'm gonna do in uh, Unreal Engine. Or Blender. I like making shit if you guys haven't figured that out yet. I like making shit. You can make like Amber's like bedroom or something. That'd be cool. No, we're not making the bedroom. We are not making no. a bedroom. Oh. My bad. I was talking you... in terms of like a streaming room. My apologies. We are not you... making. Wait, wait, we, we mentioned the second. We mentioned the second episode of the channel on this stream, and you thought that was a suggestion that could be made in innocence. We are not I, making a. I, I understood immediately after I said it. I was like, wait, no. I meant more like a streaming room or like a living room to hang out. No, in. what we're gonna. So what, the first place I will no. build is the. Uh, is the underwater train because when the when the chat looks up if they join the server they're gonna see flying fish in uh, the sky. Okay, that would be cool. Yeah, flying fish in the sky, um, and they can you know board the train or uh, go outside the train. I have many questions oh, about this yeah. under underwater train. Choo choo, chugga 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 chugga. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. All right, so now that it's uh, just drawing time, you want to do a request stream? I know that yeah. you. All right, I know that you want me to draw something. What did you want me to draw, Outlaw? Did I? I think you did. Uh, I don't remember. The Amber Express. Chug -chug -chug. Uh, let's see here. Actually, <laughs> I mean, I haven't been able to finish the uh. The other one yet it was the the reason why the underwater uh asmr thing is, isn't out yet is because i haven't finished one of the art pieces because uh, uh, school hard uh. i've heard <laughs> oh i was gonna ask what type of train you're envisioning with the under underwater train. steam train okay oh uh solar it, uh, solar said it was amber punching the sun Amber oh, yeah. Okay. Solar, thank you so much. Yes. All right. Um, I... Uh, punching <laughs> like, like that scene in Halo when just... Well, boom! <laughs> Are you about Wait, to punch the sun? Halo? I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, Master Chief, the Halo man, punches a fucking nuke and lives. Oh, my God. Incredible. That's great. I love that. I hate that, but I love that. Um... 
what an image. What a powerful image. Hold on. Da, da, da. I have... So, hold on. I will draw myself punching the sun. But first, before I punch the sun, I'm going to show you why I... me under the water. Okay, so... Oh, I thought before we could punch the sun, we had to take the moon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Buddy, you oh, just got a beat in my that. head now that I cannot escape. Punch the sun. We will get to punching the sun. Jesus Christ. Hold yourself, chat. Of course, and of course, we'll have to put this disclaimer that the drawing will not be to scale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. unfortunately not. <laughs> I was like, yeah, wait, hold on. Because otherwise, you'll just be like one small pixel and then this massive sun. Just a dot. <laughs> Halo, Halo 4. All right, I will be, I will be checking out Halo 4 for this, for this scene. Holy cow, this is awesome. Oh my God, just punch the Amber and CEO burning a Minecraft village with style, dude. We did that already. Go watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> no more uh, burning down villages. Nah, man, did you not hear me break within that video? Okay, we ain't doing this again. <laughs> da, da, da. All right. We've done we've done our fair share of raiding and pillaging. That is no longer the lifestyle. Yes, we we have moved on. Well, maybe not uh, steel, but I have moved on. Da, da. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's <laughs> change this. All right. That's not right. Okay. Hold on. Hold your horses. Is this it? Huh. <laughs> when that intergalactic fighting anime with Amber is the MC coming out, bro, that'd be sick. <laughs> oh my Ooh, god. I, I watched that. If I knew how to do that, I would. Okay? Straight up, I would. <laughs> okay, I would love idea. to animate that. All you have to do is learn how to draw anime. Easy. I, I've tried that before and I quit. Right? <laughs> Guys, I actually animate. It, it's no bueno. <laughs> because oh. it's a one it's I do it frame by frame because I'm too stubborn and broke to learn uh to get the uh actually no it's more of a moral thing I refuse to buy anything Adobe uh based because Adobe is subscription based now and I'm just like no and I, I don't like the idea of constantly giving to Adobe Yes. Remember when you could own software instead of buying the buying the rights to use it as a service on a monthly or annual basis? Those were the days. What a great time to be alive. Yeah, it was. I remember those days. There we go. Mm -hmm. This is what I was working on. For like one of the scenes for the underwater train. So this is the red eye one. The other one is the red and blue one. Uh, no, it's the uh, inverse one that I think really showed you the animation. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I had to load the iPad in. But yes, now, fine. That Let's let's uh, let's go punch the sun, chat. Let's punch it's the sun. Oh, no, I see it. Time. Uh, oh, you think... Oh, wait, do you guys... Do you want to see some of my artwork? Is, I could uh, show you guys be art. Be careful. Just, yes. I don't know what you have in there, but yes. Oh, don't worry, buddy. I am doing this thing called switching the screen before I show anything. <laughs> it sounds like a plan. Here, chat, let me show you one of my favorite pieces. And what do you mean it's scarring? It's not. It's fine. You guys have no idea what I'm referring to. <laughs> uh -oh. Anyway, you guys want to see a cursed image on the server that you may or may not know exists? Oh, no. Oh, no. Hi. <laughs> What's up, double bloggers? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> it is I, Ooh. Strong Cheek McGee. <laughs> Look at that jawline. <laughs> what? Oh, that's right. The, Remember this, this, this image? <laughs> I forgot that this existed. I want to go back to when ah, I forgot this existed. Hey guys, yes. look at the mind. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! It's slowed for me. <laughs> I, I promise, double bloggers, this is actually no. This is about typical. What am I saying? 
Wait, isn't that an emote in our channel? It is. It is. Uh, All right. If you want to be able to post this picture as a reaction to any post you want, be sure to join our Discord. Link in the description. <laughs> steady, it's called Steady Hands Mistake. Uh, I was working on designing a chibi amber because I was thinking of making a chibi amber uh, a VTuber model. So this is what chibi amber would look like. It didn't load yet. Give it a oh. minute. Give it a minute, man. Give me a minute. I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> Zooms in, yeah. Yeah. Curse, <laughs> Amber gonna uh, break your neck with that jawline. <laughs> uh, I that took jawline this... does 1d10 slashing damage. Yeah. I was working on some concept art for like maybe having a chibi model. This is chibi Amber. Oh, that's so cute. I wanna hug it. Oh. Very good, Amber. <laughs> yeah, we went from a uh, uh, curse to wholesome real quick. That's how we like to do things around here. We go uh, a quick 180. Well, we gotta balance the stream, you know. Hey, the don't, do not steal the chibi. Do not steal the tiny one, okay? The tiny. Do not steal the fun uh, size, no. fun size Amber. Uh, I kind of no. already did. Uh oh. It's too late. <laughs> it's already been claimed. You, know, uh -uh. you ain't. You are not stealing any work. Uh huh. Okay, no, yeah, I have the signature on the bottom, dude. Like, if anyone tries, steals work, like, dude, I gave credit in the stream. Don't do that. <laughs> Just, look, man, artists got enough bullshit, okay? If I have, if I can give credit as a streamer, you can give credit as, uh, as a chatter. All right? We yeah. live by some rules of ethics. And if you do, you know that one video of the of like what the difference between uh, wake up uh, ringtones? I, I I'll be the Apple ringtone and I'll just fucking run you down. <laughs> what are you talking about? You've never seen that? Hold on, I no. I find it. Uh, da, da, da. What are some other art pieces I have? The real Dan the man. I have arrived. Welcome back, Dan. Yeah, give credit when credit's due, guys. Come on, let's let's promote uh just being good people, please. Thanks. I appreciate that. Also, uh, I was working on some like like I don't know when I would ever do this, but like keychains maybe. I don't know. But I was working on some different like red eye concept art because I remember you guys like that. So I was working on different uh drawings. <laughs> oh boy. Amber, do you agree that NFTs are dumb? Wait, a D&D stream? Yeah, I was gonna do a D&D stream. I'm actually planning my own D&D campaign where uh, the group will go on and fight uh, dreams, different uh, corrupted dreams. So. NFTs. Yeah. Well, that, no, no, that okay, was, here's my that arguments about NFTs. I believe artists should be paid for the work, and if somebody wants to, is dumb enough to pay for it, let them. Like, I have no problem with people making more money. It's, it just needs to be agreed upon by both parties that they are okay with what's being sold. You know? Good thing. Good just, thing. yeah. Have you ever read any SCPs? Ikea, I read the Ikea one. <laughs> I was terrified. There was also a stream. Didn't even, like a, I was about to say, uh, wasn't there a stream recently? Yeah, there was a stream. Um, ooh, I'm gonna show you guys my... I don't know if I ever showed you this art piece. Um, I won a marketing competition at my school. So, and I had it... What I did was I drew a... Uh, a little art piece for that. And I got a contact with Google. And I was offered a job, and then I had to turn it down, unfortunately, because 20 credits, and I'm already working another job. And I want to pursue streaming. So I had to turn down a position at Google. But I have the contact on uh, LinkedIn. So, yeah. But this is the... I'm going to show you guys the RPs I did for a competition that I won. Hi. I'm going to just call you Sensei. I ain't going to say the first part, my guy. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, welcome to welcome to the stream, Richard Sensei. Richard Sensei. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. The sun is a deadly laser. Yes, I love that video. Uh, da -da. Where is it? Where where is it? Where is it? Where where is it? Where is you my word? Find it. Um. Da -da 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 -da. Join us as the data scientist navigates their file system. Shh, shh, shut up, shut up. Do not <laughs> at me on this. I'm like, okay, buddy. 72 sub folders later. Listen, 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 man. I have so m Whenever I have to do any work for my school, I have to have at least five different command prompts running. Because the, my file system, or the way I do my file systems, is like I have separate folders for everything, but you can't do that. You can't do that when you need to run with Jupyter Notebooks, all right? Because Jupyter Notebooks come from different file directories. And yes, I know I'm sounding like a smart dumbass right now, but listen here, it's annoying as fuck, all right? <laughs> I hate my job, but I'm good at it. Um, yeah. No. Do, Sorry, do. I just looked back up in chat and I see that S. Fox says that um, NFTs are a pretty easy market to jump in. I object to that actually because I went in and looked how to do it because I was trying to figure out how to yeah. scam NFT people because I think NFTs are kind of dumb. You yeah. apparently have to pay at least a minimum of 50 to $250 to at least start your account and get like Ethereum to start like creating NFTs and I'm like, that's kind of dumb. Yeah, this is the art piece that I did that won the competition. Yeah. Hey, all right. Ooh. So basically for my school, they had a competition Ooh. where you had to market gourmet chocolate. And I realized um, that most gourmet chocolates are marketed to a more feminine crowd. So I thought, what if we made masculine chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, so I made a brand uh, called Muso, somebody, which is- just, There's a quote, sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I made uh, a chocolate brand called uh, Muso, which is marketed to Sky, where the mascot is a, ch is a uh, chocolate mousse. Get it? You know, mousse? That, that's clever. It's a clever oh, visual pun. Cool. Yes. And this won the competition, and I got um, a contact at Google now. Yay! Dang. And I had to turn down the position because nice. I was already working oh. a job and I'm taking 20 credits um. <laughs> and I have this <laughs> But it's okay. She kept me um, She kept my contact and she just said uh, reach out to me when you're ready to work with Google and I'm like Yes, Dang. but at the same time from a moral standpoint. I don't know <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so this is the thing that won me the competition uh Let's see, do I have anything else? Wait, is that an actual brand or is a big one? Oh, I made it up. I, I drew up everything. Oh, dang it. I want to use this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you actually wanted to buy the chocolate? No, 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 um, no, no, no. I, I, meant, I meant because of my project. I, 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 no joke, I'm like down to actually literally coming up with fake brands because I don't, yeah. you know, I don't want to I mean, use any, I will give you permission to use it if I you want it. it. Okay. Uh, so remember how I gave you guys the first community poll where I asked you guys if you wanted truly creepy art, but nobody said yes? Um, well, I kind of started drawing before I got the nobody said yes thing, which made me a little sad, but it's okay. Anyway, this was the creepy art piece that I started for you guys, but nobody wanted it. So now I'm forcing you guys to see it because I started working on it and I'm somewhat proud. So shut up and look. <laughs> shut up and look. <laughs> What is this? Look, look at my art. Yeah. Um, I wonder, my idea was what if we made Amber in dark mode? <laughs> nice. All right. I almost went my whole life not I gotta this. <laughs> I also gotta get going right now because of work, so I will talk to y'all later. Okay. All right. Yeah, Stay safe. Bye, Thomas. Thanks for being Bye-bye, uh, Thomas. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh. thank you, S books. Yeah, I, I used to draw a lot, guys. Um, I haven't had time to because big spook <laughs> oh yeah this was i was drawing different oh you like this art hold on um da, 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 da. let me show you some of the other creepy thing i was working on uh i was working on some uh, concept art back in the good old days where let's see da, 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 da. 
Do do do. Let's see here. Give me one second to pull it up. Yeah, I was working on some different animal designs as well. I was thinking, guys, you know that seagulls are f horrible animals, right? Yes, I know. I have to deal with them. Yeah. So what if you I've made a seagull thing. monster? You don't have to change anything then. Yeah. No. Here, I made. I made a. Uh, I made a uh, seagull villain. Oh. That this implies oh. the existence of seagull heroes. <laughs> yeah. This was um, my attempt to make. Uh, after I finished watching Beastars, I wanted to make my own kind of character. So like, this is Craw Bra uh, Bradley. What? And the you know how seagulls can throw their heads back? Oh. So what I did, because like, I decided to give him the ability when he laughs, to just throw his head back like that. Okay, I was about to say, that doesn't look right. No, seagulls are able to, they have, they're able to extend their necks all the way back like that. And I thought, how cool would it be? to make that like a villain laugh. You know what, how villains throw their heads back to laugh? Yes. So, this is Crop Bradley. Dude, Solar, right? Genuinely, might actually, might actually oh, make a stat block for this. Speaking about uh, d d characters, I'm gonna show them Mr. Smiles. Why? I'm gonna show them Mr. Smiles. Why? Mr. Smiles, Mr. Smiles, Mr. Smiles, Mr. Smiles. It got used in D&D, but it wasn't originally d and I want to show Mr. Smiles. I want to but show I, Mr. Smiles. Listen, listen. I understand, and I can appreciate. I can say it is like objectively a good piece of art, but on a subjective note, I hate it. It's cursed, and I never want to look at it again. Mr. <laughs> Smiles, Mr. Smiles. This, this, this disclaimer: you no guarantees of smiles. He smiles. I don't. I don't know how to. Be, I don't know what to say. He smiles. <laughs> don't be mean to Mr. Smiles. I'll be as mean to Mr. Smiles as I want. Be careful. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> um, I can't believe I'm doing this. I have to open Twitter. I, I don't know where Mr. Smiles went. He's not on my device. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. He's on the loose. Run! That, you see, <laughs> that's the terrifying part. I don't know where Mr. Smiles went, guys. I can't find him. Da, 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 I, I might, I da, might da. have a picture somewhere. Uh, I'm scrolling. Shh, I'm scrolling through my Twitter of all things. Cause I could pull it up on Twitter, I think. No, oh, no, Mr. Smiles is not a sad, a sad clown. Mr. Smiles will make you happy, whether you want to or not. Hmm. What are you talking about? It's great. I was enjoying my day. <laughs> I'm further right. enjoying my day. Let's see here. I, I got you. I'm dropping it in uh, group chat. Group chat? Okay. Oh, there it is. Say hello to Mr. Smiles, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I tried to send it in the group chat and it gave me a message. Someone has requested that Discord block any messages described as explicit so your message wasn't sent. <laughs> this that is should tell you enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, this is Mr. Smiles. Oh, that's right. Okay. <laughs> he was inspired by the, um, by... It is a Pokemon fusion <laughs> of, I believe it was, uh, Lickitung and Machamp. Yeah. This is Mr. Smiles. See? He smiles. Look at that. It's so cute. <laughs> I thought 97 of them would be a giant smile. Uh, that was a good guess. Good guess. Yeah, no, this is Mr. Smiles. All right, yeah. Sorry, I'm going down memory lane. It's been a while. Memory lane. Memory lane. Yeah, Mr. Smiles. It's been a while. <laughs> Bone <laughs> crusher. Yeah, all right. Sorry, that was, that's... Amber was going through memories. Buff Pokemon. All right, let's draw my let's draw a punch in the sun. So when do we get oh, Amber fighting okay. celestial bodies in Mortal Kombat? When oh, Amber oh. remembers how to uh, do jujitsu. 
What were you gonna say, Outlaw? Oh no no no! It's just a random, oddball question because my mind's weird. Because yeah. you mentioned memories, what would be your favorite memory? Ooh. It doesn't have to be personal. It could be something that. No, no, no. I, I know, I know. Um, what is my favorite memory? Very tough questions. That, I know. Hitting the hard, hitting the good questions. Everyone's wondering. Damn. Yes. Uh, my favorite I, memory. Because I couldn't answer that myself. Uh, I, I'm like yes. sitting here thinking about it too. I, I don't know, man. There's some. There's. I don't exactly have a favorite memory in like the sense of a happy memory but i have a favorite memory that's kind of sad but i'm happy i went through it yeah i mean it, it and makes... it was me quitting my job mm -hmm. uh this is the job uh, i'm not going to elaborate too much into it right now chat not because I don't feel comfortable. It's because I don't know how to portray it correctly yet. I need to sit down and kind of uh, process it a little more myself so I give you guys the correct narrative. Um, but during COVID, I fell into one of the worst depressions in my life. And I used work as escapism uh, to some sense. I wish my I wish my escapism was that productive. No, it wasn't. That that was the problem, dude. Everybody kept telling me I was being productive, that I was doing good. But my hands were being damaged beyond belief because of my work. I was working like what was it, 12-hour shifts daily almost. I would go in at 3. I wouldn't come back until they made me work Christmas, man. It was just Remember what I said earlier in the presentation where, like, when you get to a point where all you do is live, breathe, and think of one thing, that is n not healthy, that is an obsession, that is not a passion. Um, and it got to a point that I, in some, to some sense, permanently damaged my hands because of the work I was doing. And I knew I was. I, I would... When I would go home, I would have to wear gloves on my steering wheel so I wouldn't put uh, blood in the steering wheel of my car because I taught my brother how to drive in that car and I didn't want him to get blood on his hands. Um, yeah, I would go home wearing gloves and I would hide my hands because I didn't want my parents or my brother to be concerned because, you know, everyone was working in COVID. Everyone, it was COVID. Nobody knew what was going on. So I didn't want to give them another reason to worry. And besides, I was being productive, right? Um, so, my brother, he was moving to a new school during COVID. He was, you know, online. He was, he was learning how to drive. He was joining a new football team. He was scared. I didn't want him to worry about... You know how scarring that would be to put your hands on a steering wheel and you lift it up and there's blood? And you're just like, huh, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so when I was able to finally break from my, this escapism I gave myself and turn in that two weeks, that, and say, fuck it, I want to get back into making content. I'm, I'm done safe because the reason why I got into this job is because I wanted to build my PC because I, my computer I had at the time was not strong enough to stream. It took me forever to animate that. And like, if you watch the video back, the, the first one that got like 30K views of, on my channel, there's some glitches in the video because my computer just couldn't process it. So I got that job initially to, you know, get enough for my computer. But I, I did, I got enough for my computer, but I kept going. And I started, you know, doing those little lies to yourself. We're like, well, if I work a little longer, I can get a better CPU. If I work a little longer, I can get a better thing. And truth be told, you're not gonna do that. You're giving yourself excuses to, you know, keep going at something that you know is wrong. And granted, uh, one of my friends had to do, uh, one of my friends 
started crying on my behalf when he when they saw my hands for me to finally realize I needed to stop and me turning in those two weeks was like me giving up an addiction because that, that's what it was I was addicted to work because it was an escape for me because I didn't have to think about COVID I didn't have to think about school I didn't have to think about uh, my brother or you know my family across seas I didn't have to think about my friends as as bad as it sounded I just you know absent-minded tasks and it got to a point that I depended on that escapism no matter how badly it abused me basically yeah If it gets a black guy, is it a sunspot? <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, what happened for where I worked? Um, I worked as a, bar a barista. And back then, because, you know, it's COVID, so the food industry, you had to be incredibly clean. They, My workplace refused to give me gloves. So I would wash things in industrial uh, level cleaner barehanded and I have the condition I think it's considered glass skin which means I have a very thin layer of skin on my hands as already as it is so what would happen is you know how if you don't put lotion on your hands you see a little like cracks form within the skin yep now imagine every crack every single day just oozing blood and there's a, there's a lovely image. that was yeah. me and I, guys, I say this in the most non-sexual way possible. I had to fist Vaseline <laughs> for my hands to stop cracking. Because people don't realize this. It's because you move your, you know, fingers around so much that every time you move, you shift the skin. So every time you shift the skin, it pulls apart. There were times I could not close my hands into you know like i only could do it like half fist because trying to close it any further would just rip the skin so much that it hurt and i, I couldn't wear gloves they it, it got so bad the place i worked at was so bad was so bad to me and i did not realize it until i you know i finally kind of left is that they didn't they didn't want the customers to see my hands so they would put me at the sink where my hands were getting damaged because i was in the back and I kid you not, uh, the water would turn pink. But it was fine because the chemicals were so strong that it would kill any biological material. Very heavy. So, yes. I worked until my hands turned red. And I did that until a friend cried on my behalf. And I was like, I gotta stop. And I turned in my two weeks literally the day after. No, I did. I got out of there. Now I'm doing a better job. Now I'm doing a job that's sending me to South by Southwest to represent a college. Um, yeah. Uh, it was it was so bad that... And another thing, too, that I hated because it was during COVID, it's like people were telling me, um, customers are coming up to me like, you should be lucky you have a job. You should be lucky, like, I, I'm actually Asian in real life. I'm not going to elaborate on which Asian, I'm just, just say Asian guys, but I was Asian enough. I looked Asian enough for people to come up to me because I live in a more affluent neighborhood, uh, when I was growing up during the time of COVID and all that fun stuff that some of these, some of the, my customers that came up to me were like, I don't want you to make my drink, you're dirty. Someone said that to me. Um, and I was just like, They've one- They've probably I, seen your hands. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, no, they, because I had, they put me either at the cash register or the sink. Mm, but like the way they yeah. said it, it was like one of those like, because the way they portrayed um, Asians were just like, oh, they're dirty individuals. Uh, and I was like, two, here's the thing, before I, before I realized that was racist, I, two thoughts went through my head. I'm at the cash register, by law, I can't process your food, and two, girl, you're dirtier than me, holy shit. <laughs> Get that dirt off your face, god damn. 
Let, let's just say that they're lucky I was not there because yeah, I do have. That's the. I try to control my. Te people don't know I do have a really bad temper, and I'm so good at keeping it at bay. But that's the one thing. Like if I saw that happen, then uh, it'd be hard to hold back. Let's just say I might probably get myself arrested. I, I don't. I, th that's the one thing I just do not tolerate. Not yeah, no, that. I didn't realize they were being racist until my boss was like, hey, they're being racist. And I'm like, oh, I thought that was just oh, no. regular customer. <laughs> I thought, like, I thought that was just customers being customers. No. Yeah, no, it, was, it was pretty I, bad. I was a freak. Nah, man, dude. I, I shit you not, she looked like, you know, the evil witch of the West, man. I was just like, girl, <laughs> what the genuine fuck are you wearing? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, it was not good. Life was not good. No. I, it was not good. <laughs> no, but you got out of it. Yes, I got out of it. So that's my favorite memory. It's the memory that I turned in my letter of resignation and I left a bloody thumbprint on it, like a fucking s a seal. <laughs> I know that's probably not good, but I was like, that was my little wax seal of fuck you. <laughs> well, well, I mean, no, I mean, it's, I mean, cause I, I remember that time. And to this day, I, I was like, I kept telling you not to go through this. And so, yes, this was a happy day, not just for you, but for everyone that cared about you because you, you finally did the right thing and took care of yourself and that's, yeah. You know. Yeah. Like bad time. Bad time. Well. It gave me at least one really good one liner of just guys, I say this in the most non sexual way possible, but I have to fist Vaseline tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh I mean that is the only context you could say that. Yes. Um what the hell did you come back to? I'm punching the sun. Yes. Uh yay. But yeah, that was that was my time. And granted, you, some people can say like right now, me taking twenty credits, working a job, and streaming, that is also too much. And to a degree, I will agree. Um, but the reason why I am doing it is not because I'm trying to do it as an escape, but I'm trying to do it to develop a career that I want to live. Like I used the my last job as a way to get away from reality and now I'm recognizing that through if I want to do this I have to work for it and I put my I have put myself in a position where it's gonna be hard so I'm biting the bullet as much as I can right now so I can keep pursuing what I want to do Cobalt welcome Cobalt you missed the presentation god damn <laughs> that's uh, he could just go back Ah, but I gave a little presentation sure on how I did it. It was good, but yeah. What? Yes, uh, stick around till the end. You can rewind it. it was... You did do it for you. I did do it for you, dude. I I, I like, I try my best to be as much of a person of my word as possible. But yeah. I like how I just give the sun the most happy expression as I'm just going for <laughs> it. <laughs> You could, you know, you know, we could rename this piece to, this is me giving my two weeks notice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's about to send a message to them. I said I corrected 50 minutes, what? Oof. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. But I did do it for you. If you zoom back a little yeah. bit, it's right there. Um, so yeah. Here's me fighting the sun. Alright, any Ooh. other arc requests? Or... Just do a doodle stream. I had a small tear as I slowly realized that. Yeah, 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 we'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions? I'm not afraid to answer anything. I like. I'm. I know who I am, so I'm okay talking about some dumb shit that I have clearly done in my life. And if you have questions for me, I know I'm not like the focus of this channel, but. If you have questions for me, I'm also happy to answer some things. If you have questions for any of us, like, go ahead. Like, we're not going to guarantee every question. Like I said, I'm not telling you how healthy my organs are. I don't know myself, and I'm kind of okay living in oblivion. Um, but... 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? Actually, I think I can answer my own question about my favorite memory, or at least a recent one. And that would be the time I got to go to Montreal for to meet up with a couple people. And just that entire, um, it was over over four to five days, I think it was. And this is because I met some of these people before on some other thing, which would take too long to explain. But it was just nice because because that was a more controlled environment because it was for a competition, and so it, you can't, you know, you're kind of like on, you're not really on your own time, so to speak. But this time we kind of pretty much like okay, we're all gonna get together. We're gonna get this Airbnb, and there's just a, just a lot of fun little stories, you know. Like for example, how we picked a B and B that didn't have a TV at all. We didn't realize it until I got there because I was the first one that got there, and then and so I actually had to go out and go find a Best Buy in Canada and find a way to get a TV to the room. We had that, and then uh, just the place was a bit of a dump, but it was our dump. Those are dumb. We made it our this own. This is my trash. <laughs> yeah, it might be a crappy place to be at, but hey, it's ours, and we had a good time. We um, we did some go karting uh, one day, and we had this fun little story because we, we ended up watching a race on on Sunday because that's that's the main reason why we were there. We wanted to watch a race on Sunday, and when it was over, we um, we decided to. Because, you know, they have, like, little signs all over the track, and so we decided to take a memento home with us. And so we took this we took this sign that just said F on it. Nice. <laughs> yes. But we we, we, had, we grabbed it. We put it. Uh, somebody put it in their backpack. Because, you know, obviously, there's a good reason why we took the F sign, because oh. it's F. It's a big F. It's too F. good. Except when we, uh, when we tried to get out, we, we actually got out. Or lost, we thought we went out, and then like, wait a minute, this isn't the way we went in. It's like, how do we get to our car? And then we accidentally went, try to go back in. Or no, I think we were trying to find somebody uh, to go back in. And unfortunately, that's when security caught us with the sign and they took it away from us. Damn. So, yeah, big F big in chat. F. <laughs> <laughs> F for the F sign that we had until we didn't. Damn, bro. That sucks. Oh no, but still, it was just, it was just an entire week. It was just, it's like, I always say like, my life has been too boring and I just don't have the stories to tell, but I'm just like the fact that that entire, um, that entire weekend, it was just full of good stories to, you know, just good, just good moments with good people and just, you know, that, that, that's, that's what I want out of life, you know, just to, just because, you know, I've got, I already got through college and everything, so I, I, I'm done with that and. I'm at the point at which, like, you know what? I'm, I don't want to work. I don't want to work so hard. You know, I have this mentality. Like, yes, you, you know, I understand. You know, if you want to work for something, you know, something that you really care about, you got to put the time and effort into it. I mean, that's. But the thing is, you have to enjoy what you're doing. Yeah. Because if you're not, then you got to reevaluate. Like, why am I doing this? If and you're I'm not, hoping... you're pulling an amber. It's not a good yes. thing. <laughs> yes. Don't do an amber. Don't do an amber. But. But like I said, if I'm hoping that you know everyone finds what they really want to do and get paid for it. That's that's the that's that's always the trouble. It's like we all have our dreams and aspirations of what we really want to do. But a lot of times, like okay, could could I keep a roof over my head? Yeah. And that's always a conundrum. But again, that's what I wish for everyone. And for me, it's more about if I can find the ideal job. Yeah, I, I, I can I, I can put in the extra time and effort, but otherwise, no, I, I am not working twelve hour shifts. Yeah, not at all. That is not happening. That's partly why I'm still in college for a data science degree because I'm good at what I do. Yes. Like, uh, you know, going to South by Southwest, uh, being a representative of an of an entire fucking university, like. I don't know, bro. That kind of cool. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm I'm going through this because I don't know. If, I mean, I've gone viral twice, so I know I have the ability to do this, but it's it's not a guarantee. And if I and again, my perfect day is adopting my kid, 
And if I can't financially support myself, I have no right to put someone uh, through an unstable, you know, household. Fair. And responsible. Yeah, like, yes. I, I want to get... I, my biggest kind of... If I if you have to give a theme to Amber, uh, if you have to give a theme to the, the persona of Amber, um, she values the concept of going home. You know, that going to a safe place, you know, which is supposed to be home. So, I want to do everything in my power I can to make that happen. And as such, I have to, you know, study what in what I think is one of the mo most stable fields right now, which is data science. Yep. yep. What are the pronouns of the fun size crew? God damn it. Uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, let's see here. Um, I, I, I assume that was a question for each of us on stream right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. let's see. Let's go down the line. All right. So, yes, guys, this is technically a uh, Q&A stream. So, go ahead. Ask as many dumb questions as you want. Hell, ask me why my favorite color is red. Um, just whatever you want to ask. Go ahead. Um, da -da -da. Let's see here. Uh... Oh, I read the description. How do I manage my... 20 my uh, working studying and streaming all right i actually okay so i guess i didn't go into the logistics of it um let's see I here like you actually you guys want to know all right yes so this is why i have the whiteboard i i did make a whiteboard for this to kind of elaborate on that so i'm taking 20 credits and i'll break down the classes for you i'm taking an acting class because i want to become funnier haha -ha, funnier uh, <laughs> I'm taking a 3D modeling class because I wanted to make my 3D VTuber. I'm taking a, a level 2 Python coding class. I'm taking a probability and statistics coding class. And I am, I'm taking a e-commerce class so I can learn digital commerce. So if I start selling merch, I'm not stupid about it. And I am learning how to code, you know, SQL and databases, because that is my major. I am a data scientist. So that right there is 20 credits. And so I want to say we have, I'm, I'm breaking it down for y'all, my classes. So I have two art classes, so two A's. I have two A classes right there. I have the coding class for Python, the probability class for Python, and the SQL class, which is technically a script-based thing, but let's just call it coding. So three coding classes. And one economic class, which I want to call econ. So that's going to be three CSs and one econ. Oh, you might want to clarify on credits because like even when I was going through, it was different depending on university. So that's why I broke it up with classes. Okay. So I am taking six classes right now, which is technically making me pass a full-time student. Uh, funny story: you're not allowed to take twenty credits unless you get approval. Um, yeah, you gotta get an override. I gotta get an override. But here's the thing: because I was a four point oh student my freshman year, and I got nominated to be the honor student of the year. All I had to do was click a button to override. It auto approved it. It, it auto approved me to because I was a because I was a 4.0 and uh, one of my professors in uh, the honors uh, college that I'm a part of was like, I'm nominating her to be the student of the year for the entire college, and they're like, okay, here's a button, and I'm like, this is smart. Click it. No. Um, <laughs> Push a button for torture. <laughs> yeah, but so there it goes. I have. Uh, actually, I want to see if I can show you guys my Google page. Um, yes, I go by uh, she, her, hers. I'm, I'm comfortable in the body I was born in. I'm lucky in that department. So yeah, I'm okay going with that. Some people sometimes have a hard time figuring out if I'm a guy or a girl because my voice has that weird extra dudish. Uh, tone edge to it, which is. <laughs> see, see, for you it's funny. For me, it was a struggle because no joke. For 
I put it on the chat too because somebody was asking because for the longest time in my life people thought I was a female over the phone. So it was so really? awkward when I every time I had to talk to somebody on the phone. Okay. Like, I think it's like that's not the right photo. I want to see <laughs> if I can hide this and show you guys uh my actual like Google Calendar. You can just take a screenshot. I could take a screenshot, but then that requires me to save that screenshot and re-upload that screenshot into OBS. Which honestly, I may be disciplined, but I ain't that disciplined, okay? Um let's see here. Do -do -do. <laughs> more, more work than it's worth. It's more work than it's worth, yeah. Uh alright. I think that hides everything. If it doesn't oh well, you're seeing my school schedule. Yikes. Um so there it is. Da, da, da. This is what I go. F I start every day. Uh, technically at it says here on at nine, but I tech I wake up every day at six, so I can start my uh, CS homework because my professor has an assignment due at five p.m every uh tuesday and thursday and these are like the long programming assignments but the problem with that is i go from nine to five non-stop the things that are blank here uh that have no time is when i get lunch and i go to work because i have office hours technically at mm -hmm. the main library and this is uh the team i meet this is my actual weekly meeting with my team so i actually have to go there so i I have to be somewhere. Everything in color is where I have to be. So from nine to basically five every single day, in a sense, I have a nine to five. Um, and what I do to make sure I don't get too burnt out is I'm gonna break it down for you guys now. Da, da, da. Is I start off at six. And I, I have most productive in the morning. And I start off coding because that's usually the most brain power I need to do. And depending on which course it is, I'm doing either SQL or Python. So that's, I start at 6 a.m. there. Da -da -da. Where's, what's chat at? Imagine using Python. Listen here, JavaScript. Nobody gives a shit that you like torturing yourself. I would never use JavaScript. That is a level of programming that I would never hope to stoop to, but I'll probably have to learn it eventually. Yeah. And then 7 a.m., my roommates are starting to slowly wake up. So when they're waking up, I watch because I have to, you know how uh, teachers do the, uh, they have videos you have to watch and answer questions to? Okay, yeah. They're like on like online quizzes. So while everyone's getting ready, because I can't really focus anymore because you know, movement. Uh, <laughs> I sit down and I watch um, my, the video lessons they say they have for the week. And then, da -da -da, let's see here. At eight, I start finalizing my code. Because as you guys saw, I had a meeting with my CSTA because I, th I uh, was so angry at how he did the coursework. I threatened to drop it then and there. And the TA in panic said that he would give me one-on-one -on -one meetings in which I said, cool, I'll see you at nine. And he said, okay, I did not let him process it. So I felt bad and I buy him tea now because I feel really bad. I forced this guy to get up at, eight, at 9 a.m. But it's okay, I'm doing great in that class. Um, so this is me finalizing the code for Python. And then nine, I have a meeting with him and we go over the concepts. They see how I can optimize it, all that fun stuff. So that's my Jesus. TA. You and do then more in three hours than I do in a weekend. Oh, buddy, my weekends. Okay. <laughs> so that's oh. from six to 9 a.m. All right. Then after that, at 10, I finally get breakfast. At 10, I get breakfast. 
Um, and then at 11, I sit down for my probability and statistics class, which goes from 11 to 12.15. And then at that point, I have, because I have to walk across campus to go to my art class for modeling. What I do is after my uh, probability thing, I sit down and I finish my in-person classwork that I do for uh, coding. Because I don't go to in-person anymore because I, I had the one-on-one -on -one meetings with the CSTA, but I still have to do like an in-class activity technically to get credit for my course. So before I go to my art class, I sit down and I do my uh, um, coding in class work. That's one. So that's my um, ICA, in class activity. I do that at one, or from 12 to one. And then at two, I go to my art class for uh, 3D modeling. And that's kind of my, I let my brain kind of calm down and stuff like that, because it's just modeling at that point. It allows me to work on my 3D model. And that goes on until basically five. So that's, so that's the um, coding classes and one of the art classes. And this is on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then on Tuesdays, well, okay. So it's 5 p.m., right? I finished 5 p.m. I have no more classes to go to. I, at six, or like right after five, I go with my roommates and we go get uh, dinner. So it's an early dinner. And then I jump into more coding because I have three coding classes. So uh, uh, uh. I jump into more coding at around 6-ish, 6 p.m. After that, when my brain is done with numbers, I jump into <laughs> economics. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I do my economics readings there. Uh, a, ni a, nice, uh, a nice break for your brain. It's yes. economics, it's my economic reading. And then at eight, if I'm like, if I can't process anything, uh, I go to the gym. Because dude, going to the gym at five, through seven is just a sea of men, okay? Like I walk in and I get shot out, right? It's, just, <laughs> it's so many burly men, I can't, I physically can't. I try to walk in, I go up to the weights, I have a buff guy who's very kind, who walks up behind me, I get terrified, I turn to him, he's like, I, can you just tell me how many more reps you have? I would like to do this after you. I tell him, no, no, I'm done. You can take the, the, the dumbbells and my wallet. I, I'm fine. You're good. Take, yeah, everything's fine. And he's like, no, no, no. I just want the dumbbells. It's okay. I give him the dumbbells. I walk to the side. I stand like an awkward deer who doesn't know what's going on. And I ask him again, are you sure you don't want the wallet? <laughs> Never again. So I go to the gym at eight. <laughs> because I'm scared. Uh, <laughs> so I go to the gym at eight. Ah. Uh, and then at 9 p.m., if I still have artwork, I, I like to finish the day with art because that's what I like to do. And then at either at 10, I'm getting ready for bed. Or if we have a stream that I haven't prepared yet, I prepare for the stream. And then 11, lights out. I, I need my sleep. I, I'm not going to sacrifice that again. So lights out okay i'm gonna say let me just just want to put it out there that the fact that you are sleeping at a not off of all assuming that you're not lying to us that this is you know you're getting you're actually getting some sleep so i'm proud of you for that 11 to 6 is actually more hours than i was expecting yes i am i am shocked yeah so good. i'm proud of you for actually getting some sleep it's it's the 80 20 rule. I do my best. Like, if I don't get a thing done, I don't get it done at the end of the day. Um, oh, thank you. I like my handwriting? Yay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's well, that's because that's my Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. So, yeah. I try my best because uh, remember, I, I, after my experience with work, I realized that if I want to do it sustainably, I, I have to force myself to sleep. I can't do that to myself. 
So I, I try my best to get, you know, seven hours of sleep if I can. Some nights, granted, because we're getting close to the end of semester, I get less than that. Sometimes, like, like uh, Thursday, Veterans Day, I went to bed at 1 because I was working on the 3D model. Um, because I needed to get as much done as I could with that because I'm, I'm losing time uh, with ZBrush. Because my uh, membership with it expires at the end of the semester. Because mm -hmm. I won't be taking a 3D modeling class anymore, right? So that's it's getting a little down to the rush hours now. So it's that's seven hours. Sometimes it's seven. <laughs> um, but yeah. So that's my Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Well, Friday's a little different. Friday, I have uh, my meeting with my CSTA. Same thing. Every six to nine. It's, all, it's the same CSTA. But then after usually 10 a.m., I have my CS exams. So I have to go and take my test then. And afterwards at 11 uh, a.m. I go to my uh, acting, because I still have the acting class, right? The acting lectures, where we go over like uh, some of uh, the techniques and things they do to you know break down a character, break down, you know, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. And then I get lunch. And then from two, either from one to five or two to five, it depends. Because I am the creative director at my workplace. It's if I need to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with my boss, uh, I meet at one. If not, I meet at two. And then from two to five, I have my office hours in a giant green screen room, which is really fun. And I help uh, both faculty and students learn how to create media. So whether that is creating a video, is that creating audio, creating graphics, creating photo, you know, just anything for online co uh, coursework. That is my job because a big problem with colleges, and that's why I'm going to South by Southwest, is right now it seems like a lot of courses are still focused in the traditional ways of learning, which is, uh, you know, uh, paper after paper after paper, uh, and then getting sent to grad school, which is not really realistic anymore, right? So my job is basically to teach people um, how do I. Uh, screen record? How do I post this to YouTube? How do I make sure it's private? How do I make sure uh, it's, you know, engaging for my students? So I teach both teachers how to do online courses and I teach students um, how to uh, present themselves in video conferences and things like that. So that's my, that's my office hours is two to five. Sometimes because I am the creative director, I have to meet at on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And instead of meeting with my TA on 9 a.m. then, I go to my acting class. And then Saturdays are, well, the streams. And then I give myself Sunday. Dang. Yeah. And for Saturday, what I have for my schedule for Saturday, um, I get up at 6. That p.m. No, no, no. <laughs> Not p.m. A.m. 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 <laughs> um, I try my best to either go for a morning jog at the gym. If I don't, or whatnot. If not, I just... But sometimes I wake up at 7, which is fine. You know, give myself that hour. And then I get ready for the day. Uh, you know, take that nice long shower that hot and, uh, that's 30 minutes long. It's definitely wasting water, but at that point in time, I don't care. <laughs> uh... I'm sorry, I like my hot showers. And then at, after I get ready for the day, at 8 a.m., I go to a local coffee shop. I get myself uh, the same latte and the same bagel, and I give myself an hour to wake up and enjoy the day, morning. So just breakfast. I kind of go through my head what the stream's gonna be. And at nine, like sometimes I have an early call with you guys or I'm setting up for the stream. And then at 10 to whatever time, we stream. And then afterwards, if I didn't get to the gym beforehand, I have a rule of thumb because I, I sit too long, I think, that for every hour I stream, I have to turn that into a mile that I run. So, Oof. so because in freshman year, I was able to run three miles in 15 minutes. And I have not been able to reproduce that. And I hate that. 
I, I lost a little muscle mass. I, I, I am once again stick. <laughs> well, I, I, I am a thinner stick, but I am again stick. So I try my best to go to the gym on Saturdays because I don't go to the gym enough. And my Apple Watch tells me that every single day. And I'm like, buddy, I'm trying. And the watch is like, ha, huh, you're not. And I'm like, shut up, but it's fine. <laughs> so I try to go to the gym. And then after the gym, uh, I, you know, do my laundry kind of thing, you know, like clean up, stuff like that. Or I go hang out with some friends, but you know, it's clean Saturday's uh, cleaning day. And then Sunday, Sunday's whatever day, man. I, I catch up with what I need to because inevitably something's slipped through the crack. Or I sit down and I try to teach myself Blender or a little more of OBS and uh, uh, this VTuber thing that I use. So I can make you guys like that Halloween stream that I did. So, yeah. That that's that's how I'm surviving right now. Heck yeah. So that is a very, very well put together show. Yes. Working working is between those it's between ten a so on Tuesdays and Thursdays it's ten AM to either uh, 3 p.m. That's on Tuesdays. Man, this is looking like a mad man's uh, whiteboard. And then, uh... Who is Pepe Silva? Actually, that is my... Dude, I kid you not. That is my final project for acting. My final for my acting class is me reenacting the Pepe Silva monologue. Heck yeah. That is my for final. Who, for anyone who doesn't know, if you've seen that meme of the dude, like with the red yarn behind him with the board next to him. The sort of... Here, actually, I could pull it up, probably. Da, 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 da. That schedule is denser than yeah. most planets. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, well, I enjoy what I'm doing, and I've always been incredibly disciplined. Luckily, I'll... I... So... Um, it's this image, if you guys haven't seen it. Open new tab. Boop boop. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Boop. Okay, that's tiny. Hold on, I need to blow this guy up. Blow up the image. Blow up the image. There we go. Boop. That's the Pepe Sylvia me. I have to reenact that for my final. I'm gonna have so much fun, man, because I'm already somewhat unhinged. <laughs> You've all the work I have to do. It's great. I have the eye bags and everything. <laughs> yeah, this is the one. Yeah. So that's my final. Um, Thursdays is... Uh, da, da, da. My act, my econ teacher hates people. It's awesome. Um, because he came... <laughs> <laughs> no, he... On the first day of school, he came in on Tuesday. The presentation was 30 minutes out of the one hour, 15 minute lecture. And he said, I don't want to see you guys on Thursday. It's not that I don't like you. It's because I, I don't... I was a librarian and I never learned how to talk to people. And this is scaring the hell out of me and stressing the hell out of me. So I'm going to only meet you guys once a week. So please leave. Goodbye. Oh, so, guy. What yeah. Guy, honestly. So I only have Point obligation line. at 10 a.m. at my acting class, and then from there on, because this is this is before my Friday meetings where I either help faculty or students, I work, I, I prepare for the day, and so that either entails me working on the podcast for the school, because instead of my uh, my boss who wrote the grant did not want to write another fucking paper, so she's like, listen, Amber. We're making a podcast. I know you worked in radio. I need you to talk a lot. And I'm like, yeah. So <laughs> I am the main, so I am the main director in the podcast for narration purposes. I have a coworker who does all of the music backgrounds. He's teaching me Reaper so I can make more music for you guys. So from like 10 until like, I guess five, I'm, I'm somewhat working on, uh, on my work. And then, of course, you know, throughout the day, I got to maybe sprinkle in a little bit of homework. You know, a little homework here and there. Sprinkle it in. Not too much, though. Just, just a little bit. A little bit of homework. As a treat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. All right. Dang. That, that is my schedule. 
Uh, very nice. Um, let's see what else. The the stream is down on your end. What? No, it's fine. It's, it's, it's better fine. than that. They're good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. It um, never went down for me. All right. All right. So that's that's how I live my life right now. It's a lot of that. Um, I work six days a week, technically, but I don't really consider Saturday working because I'm doing what I want to do, which is this. So I'm okay with it. Question. All right. So that's that. That's the long answer. Um, let's go through everything else now because I know there's more questions here. Da -da -da. Uh, okay. What am I using? I am using right now a school borrowed uh, tablet. Another reason why I haven't quit my job yet is because I want to buy more supplies. So, but I can't. So I'm working with a, a school borrowed art tablet. It's a Wacom tablet, so that's why it's good quality. Uh, let's see here. I mean, I do have a mouse, but like for handwriting. I want to use a, I want to use a stylus. What other questions do we have? We all know your opinions on apple juice. What about apple cider? Is the apple cider the carbonated one? Yeah, generally. I can't have carbonated drinks. I They carbonation hurts me. <laughs> I carbonation hurts me, man. I I I can't. I am. I, I don't drink soda. I don't drink alcohol. Um, I drink a lot of like fruit juice and coffee. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, um. So yeah. Do, do, do what series of events led up to the AI dungeon video? Even as a joke, the push from others must have been a factor in illustrating that. Actually, no. Um. The whole animation, I did myself. I storyboarded it, I animated it. Nobody influenced me in that sector. Uh, that's all my own creative vision. What happened was, I think, Allo, you were part of this stream. Which one? Uh, the AI, the when I did the original AI dungeon reading. Uh, you were in, at least listening in. What oh, happened? I, I, I might have been driving, I'm, I'm on my way home driving, I nearly crashed. Oh, I am so <laughs> sorry. Who sounds I, familiar? <laughs> yes. I did not mean for that to happen. Please do not die from laughing. That that would be very sad. And um, no. Uh, let's see. So what happened was uh, this was before I made the Idiots Crew channel. There was another group that I started working with uh, called. It fell out, of course, because COVID happened and all of us had other obligations and you know blah blah this blah blah that. Um, but one of the people I, I worked with, he loved making stories, and he, he showed me AI Dungeon. And he's like, it's a really cool gameplay, uh, it's, if you want to quickly make prompts. And we, we did not turn off the, we didn't, the NSW tab, we did not turn off the NSW tab, and it just kept getting worse, and worse, and worse. <laughs> he tried to change it, it did not change, the furry was adamant on fucking the character we were running, but we could not hide. And... The journey of us realizing we have fucked up on stream is how we is the is basically the audio that we've animated. So that that's the story of what happened. He was trying to show me something cool live, and well, it was live. <laughs> um, yeah. More AI dungeon. We're I. I'm, the reason why I haven't done a lot of actual videos and do more streams, guys, is because you just saw the schedule. I can't. <laughs> I, <laughs> There's I, no space. There is no time right now for me to sit down and do my animations again. But I want, I don't want my channel to just drop dead again like I did last time when I got too involved with work. So to keep it alive and kind of to keep building this community, I'm, I'm wanting to stream weekly. I know it's not as often as other streamers do, but at least I have a schedule for you guys. And I'm happy that the fact I'm able to make most of it. It's a lot more frequent than I last did streams. I'll say that much. Uh, 
And besides, it gives me practice in becoming haha -ha funny. Hopefully. I don't know. Um, let's see. What are the pronouns of the fun size crew? It's guys, I'm the fun size one. It's we're not all short. I'm just the short one. Uh, we're more of the idiots crew. That's the because that's the name of the channel. How to be idiots 101. Um, we I say as we all graduate or graduating college. Um, no, my pronouns again. I said this a little earlier. I am lucky enough to be born in the body that I'm comfortable with. So I'm a she hers. And all that fun pronouns. Uh, how about you guys? Uh, we oh. mentioned it in chat. You earlier. mentioned it in chat. Okay. Yeah, we did. We did. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm just scrolling through. Sorry, I'm trying to catch up. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that was like 30 minutes ago. Like. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the schedule. I'm he him, and unfortunately, I have the low voice to prove it. Well, <laughs> that's not necessarily true, but. Uh... I mean, I could, I could, I could uh, sound younger if I wanted to, but. Okay. Everyone's just talking about D and D. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> yeah, it's been a pretty big uh, D and D discussion yeah. recently. Yes. Nice. Hi, welcome, Carrie B. How you doing? <laughs> What's up, Mugulia? Welcome. Yeah. Oh, and welcome to the stream, Carrie B. Hello. Ooh, if we're talking about D and D, you guys want to see my D and D character? I do. I had. Oh, yeah. Which one? Are we talking about uh, Jack Rabbit, or we're we gonna talk about uh, uh, Mick Jaguar? You have control of the screen, so it's up to you, man. Ah, oh, man. Back I'm actually looking through some of the chat logs from the McJaguar one-shot. The McJaguar. Dude, that was funny. Oh, gang. I'm glad you're doing good, Carrie. Welcome in. Um, basically... Yes, but... but, but, but Let's see here. If I can find it. Again, to Twitter we go. Because I only post art. Uh, da -da. <laughs> we're, we're doing doing pretty pretty well this stream. Uh, just out of curiosity, we are coming up on the two hour mark. About how much longer do you think we'll be going? Uh, we'll go one more hour and then we end because I I think I spent way too much time going over my schedule. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> Shut up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Welcome I don't even have a schedule. Kid. Yeah, no, right? I... I was just thinking the same thing. I don't have the time not to do that. No, I understand. It's just... That's probably like the big difference that we have between one another. I yeah. just don't... I always say I will find the time for something because I literally yeah. do not schedule for anything. That yeah, I'm pulling up my D and D character right now, King, and welcome to the stream. Uh, let's see here. Oh, like for me, I got tired of waiting. I got tired of waiting for what I wanted to do, so I said, "Fuck it, I will start while I have 20 credits." Okay, I'll start now because at least I'm starting. And worst case scenario, I don't make it, but at least I can look myself in a mirror and say, "You tried." Um. Trying to find my artwork. Trying to find my artwork. Those are the times I tried to fight Nazis on the internet. It did not work well. Let's keep scrolling. Oh, that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, guys. I tried to fight Nazis on the internet. It did not work well. Uh, yeah, I think I've burned that away from my memory. Uh, yeah, no, I, be, uh, just should not be a big surprise to you guys. I don't like Nazis. <laughs> They're very bad people. Bold claim. Bold take. You should not, <laughs> buddy. Even then, I... you should not be joking about that. I'm just saying. <laughs> I love you, my guy, but no. Da -da -da -da. I understand that was humor, haha. -ha, but yeah, no. Um, don't do not support oh, 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 hate. Oh, 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 seriousness. I, I have some, I have some disagreements with the with the Nazi ideology. I don't see eye to eye quite fully. Okay, hold on. I need to turn off my HDR settings because it's blowing out the computer uh, screen. Da -da -da -da. 
Good call, Coolio. Good call. <laughs> what? Let's not. Yeah, no, no. Let's not do that, guys. Um. So yeah, this is my character, Jackrabbit. Yeah, you picked a great stream, Carrie B, to join for your first time. <laughs> oh yeah, I. Welcome, Carrie B. I promise. Well, I'm gonna try to promise. <laughs> uh, that we do not. Yeah, no. I'm gonna shut up now. Um. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Long story short, do not support hate. Please. Thank you. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, this is my character, Jackrabbit. This is my D&D character. So this is the headshot design I did for her. Um, this is her actual uh, character sheet that I designed for Jackrabbit. It doesn't have her D and D uh, armor on it or anything like that, but that's the character sheet, and this is what inspired the character. <laughs> Guys, I still want that. Okay, I still want that onesie. Do you understand? <laughs> Let me be a Jack Rabbit. Let me be a weird squirrel girl. Oh, oh man, God. this is this is like Wayback Machine. <laughs> I want this. I want this onesie, okay? The tail is so big, I could sit on it. <laughs> it's been Give some me. time. <laughs> hey, whoa. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is my D&D character, Jackrabbit. Uh, she is definitely, she is, of course, a bard. Why? Because she's a furry. What do you expect? I hate, I hate it here. <laughs> why do I agree to be on, why do I come back? <laughs> <laughs> I have a choice every week. <laughs> But you come back. <laughs> Amber, is that your Halloween costume? No. Actually, I went out as a Scooby gang. And I went out as Fred for the Scooby game. And you know how Fred loves traps? Well, I was modern Fred. So I had so my book of traps was a bunch of, is this a guy or a girl? And people had to tell me whether the person in the image was a guy or a girl. Because, you know, traps. <laughs> Squirrel girl, Marl's greatest and most hey, changed. Steel, hero. welcome to the stream. Oh, Steel? Hello, Steel. Hi. Steel, why do you sound like you're underwater? <laughs> um, no idea. Let me fix that. Yeah. Well, probably because I'm on my head, my phone, not my computer for right now. But yeah, so that that's Jack Rabbit. That's my D and D character. I made another one that was a, a barbarian, which was a jaguar furry. And he, she was just stupid as, she was just stupid. Um, she had like full strength, I would think, but she had like zero wisdom and zero intelligence. Like she tried to eat the DM a few times, I think. <laughs> I remember that. I remember these characters. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Steel, you should I definitely made, remember um, Jackrabbit. I technically, I think I made both of them. Yeah. Uh... Pain, I made a mistake. No, you made a wonderful time oh, that no, got me kicked out of the D and D groups. <laughs> yep. I know. Okay. No. No. This is this is false representation. No, I didn't get kicked out. I just didn't have enough time to keep doing it. Yeah. There you go. I didn't get. But let's be honest. You guys were like, God damn it! If she wasn't our friend, we would kick her out. <laughs> You'd be surprised at tolerant I have, particularly in D and D. What about? Yeah. And then Mick Jaguar has uh I'm drawing her right now because I can't find an image of Mick Jaguar. But she had like the 99 cents like blue uh um visor glasses. I think I could find a picture of Mick Jaguar if I tried. Yeah. Uh, and... but cool to answer your question both. So yeah, Let Mick look. Jaguar was this buff dumb cat woman she would eat anything possible including the dn that was her that was her uh, a go-to move was consume <laughs> she tried her best to eat every and any character and everybody hated it but me because i was her play playing her oh solar uh I technically cannot answer that because it's a birthday question, so I can't say it. Birthday? What? Oh, uh, okay. Hold on. Yep. What is, what's happening in chat? 
No, I think Solar was going off my little tag on Discord and asking about it. So that was just trying to answer them. Amber, we're throwing you a, 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 a absolute massive birthday party. Um. King, I love how you say you choose the non-furry gang, but if I pull up the Discord right now, the majority of furry art is from you, my guy. <laughs> uh, Don't call oh no. him out like that. Buddy, I'm outing myself right now. This is an outing stream, all right? Uh, I got some for? comments you may be interested in. Oh, uh, please share them, uh, Cobalt. Also, big himbo energy. Hey, 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 just because you're right doesn't mean you have to say it. What am I being outed for? You're good. You're good. Oh. Um, yeah. Wait. Uh, what? The fuck? What? That's why I'm subbed. <laughs> <sighs> I'm not being outed for anything for once. Surprisingly, I know, right? Here, I'll draw a steak. I'll, I'll draw, um, make fuck Jack off. Wire about to eat steak. <laughs> Here, I have a great picture of steak. I know, we had some- Dude, I'm so happy and somewhat pissed off that the first fan art we got of the community is you as a fucking egg. Egg. It was me. Egg. Yes, yeah, egg. I still don't know where the egg came from. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was funny. Eggs. Egg. Here, here's a great picture of Steg. Why does it have realistic teeth? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I was having a good day. Thank B. Thank Why does it have realistic teeth? Thank you, B. B, come here and explain yourself if you're lurking. <laughs> okay. Why does it have realistic teeth? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, man. I love them to come explain themselves for that picture because I don't even know the origin. I'm not gonna explain it. I'm not gonna show them that picture. We're not crossing that bridge anytime soon. We're not. Uh, yeah. Also, I decided to do um, dark mode because I was gonna do like a chalkboard for like the stream, but clearly I'm not using the chalkboard from the stream, so now we're just doing like dark mode art. That's the best way of doing it. You should just turn on Discord light and blind yourself. No. Oh my god. Oh. Steal. Discord light mode. Cease. Just cease, my friend. Because nobody wants that. Doesn't that even take Why more energy from the computer, too, to project all those um, white pixels? No idea, but I want to I wanna see you suffer. We know, Steel. We know. That is literally your- that is literally your brand on stream, and in real life. We know. Steel, we know. Not as much in real life. Stop. You have violated the law. Damn it. Not again. Not again. But yeah, this was the Q&A stream. I went over my schedule for, uh, this semester, and everyone was like, what the hell? Stop. Uh, and I was like, <laughs> I can't, um, but it's almost Amber, over. When can I, when can I chuck a controller at your face? When I come up for Thanksgiving. Okay. Yeah, I told you already, make time for me. When I come I'll upstate. I'll make time for you. Good. I'm not, I will not be for you Black Friday. Why am I not surprised? You shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, no, um. Good. The only thing about the semester that I'm not happy about is the fact that I may not get a 4.0. Because I work Shut my- the Listen, no, no, I work Just my do, ass do, off, no, okay, no, dude? No. Do me a favor, do me a favor, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Listen, man. No, I no, work no. my ass I off, okay? Not. I deserve that 4.0. I do not want to hear it. What, did I work my ass off? No, that you're mad about not getting a 4.0. I'm Asian, where you should know this. So am I. Yeah, but you you are a working case. Uh-huh. <laughs> now nah, I'm joking. You're you fine. I strangle you. <laughs> but you can't because you don't have a car. Dang. 
Do you really All believe I can bring you? Amber? Yeah? I will come. Literal. Do it then. Follow through Sunday. for once. Alright, follow through. There you go. Don't make threats you can't follow through on. Well, it's more like I don't want to spend the money because I want to save to be able to eat today. So. I, it's fair like, enough. Do I want? Do I want to like kick Amber or do I want to eat? Which one do you think is more important? I don't know, man. Your brand's kind of a, just attack. Yeah, but my brand's also food. Yeah, that's fair. You know this. I do. I do. I still remember that Christmas when I made curry fucking lick a container clean. Hey, man, it was good food. <laughs> I'm, I'm no fool. If it's good food, it's good food. Indeed, indeed. All right, what is chat saying? That we kind of ignore uh, chat. Ma That's uh, kind of Matthew, I, I think I've got something for you. So first campaign I ever played in with uh, some friends. Um, our DM had a homebrew rule on the way that stabilizing another uh, fallen party member worked. So basically, in D and D, when you hit zero hit points, your character's not dead. They go into what's called death saving throws. Uh, but and yeah, your allies can get to you. Allies, you. Our DM said there was um, that if we were attempting to stabilize, it was a D twenty roll. And essentially, it would work under the same rules as a death save. Nat 20 was auto success. Um, anything above a 10 or 10 and above was they succeed a saving throw, and anything less than was a fail. And a nat one was two. So, my friends, my friends, paladin had been downed. I know the story. You do. It was great. <laughs> my friends, paladin got downed, and so and I'm they on made the wrong layer. Throw. They made their first death saving throw, and unfortunately, they uh, they failed the first death saving throw. And so they had two more fails before their character was dead. So I had one of my characters approach and attempt a medicine check to try to, or rather, I had one of my characters attempt to stabilize them, and I ended up rolling in that one, <laughs> which for death saves means two fails. And they'd already failed one. So in my attempt to save them, I accidentally killed their paladin. The best part was the DM went, okay, so instead of like actually stabilizing them, you just reach your hand and just plunge it into a wound. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that was how we flavored it. <laughs> you know, like, I looked around there, didn't find much, took it out and watched and the Hester light frame on their eyes. <laughs> oh, no. oh my gosh, it was so it was so bad. Luckily he had a backup character ready, so it, it wasn't we didn't really lose too much, but it was a it is it is so far to date my best Nat One story. <laughs> oh man, it was it was it was it was a great time. It was a great time. The worst one I had for me, me was when the DM wrote a Nat 20 and down Jack Rabbit before uh, we even initiate a battle. <laughs> so oh yeah, that sounds familiar. It's this. It's I a spider that... story. She jumped okay. too high, and in a uh, and in a spider yeeted her out of existence, basically. Uh, I think. Oh, uh, Lana, do you remember the time we the. Um, the... When we were in those tents fighting Zhao, and I literally took on like six at once. I'm just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and everybody else is dead. I'm just, and finally I go down and I just get dragged away onto a boat. Oh, right! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's I'm been like, a while. You guys should have helped me. <laughs> what are you doing? You were fighting like two. We were doing our best. <laughs> All right, there we go. I drew a uh, jackrabbit about to consume the tiny one. Yeah, your character was like getting kidnapped. Yeah, meanwhile. All right, let's see here. Oh Don't you just hate him get yeeted out of existence? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
like that. Can I tell one of my best DM stories, though? Sure. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to save these stabs. I came oh, up with a concept, and I made my... I made my entire party work for a halfling lord to, um... Kill some monsters in the forest that led to a marsh. Uh. So I made my party unknowingly work for Lord Farquaad and murder the entire Shrek family, <laughs> including the children. You know. <laughs> <laughs> they realized what they had done the moment they saw Ginger, Gingy the gingerbread man <laughs> step out. <laughs> She killed Donkey! <laughs> That's out, funny. Out from the shack steps this massive ogre and he says, What are you doing in my swamp? swamp? I did exactly that, but they came out of the swamp because they weren't at the hut at the moment. <laughs> oh my gosh. This... They were out gapping some food and then some groceries and they come back and they're the owner and Shrek and they just go, What are you doing? Rip as they see the dead bodies of all of their pets. Jesus, Rip the Shrek man. boy. I wish, I wish I had figured out where this was going from the second you said Halfling Lord, but then as soon as you said Marge, <laughs> it all clicked together. Yeah. And then as they went back and caught their reward, Donkey's wife came and killed all of them except for one of the tiefling who didn't try, didn't actually really fight. Because funny enough, the tiefling with fire resistance was the only one that could survive. <laughs> <laughs> Everything oh, else died instantly. Yeah, that's that's funny. Including Farquad. <laughs> question from Solar. Yeah. What's the question? Hit me. Oh, the 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 one that you mentioned earlier. Why is red your favorite color? Oh, red. Why is red my favorite color? Okay, okay. We're gonna go on a little science tangent here. Um, did you guys? Because Amber likes blood. Anyway. No. Not it. Well, yes, but actually no. Um, <laughs> so, did you know red is the first color you ever see when you uh, are first born? When you are born? You're, you're born once. Um, <laughs> Speak for yourself. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> That's good. Nice. No, but I another, the reason why I love red so much because it is the color most associated with ambition and passion. And I just love how many things it's associated with in the terms of like wanting to do something. It's a very active color, if that makes sense. Um, Blood. <laughs> yes, no, but like I, I love the color red because it is the first color you ever see. It is the color that you see most associated with, you know, revolution. It's the color you see most associated with ambition. It is usually the first color artists uh. use when they want to sketch out a new uh, storyboard or something. Amber's a communist confirmed. No. Yeah. There's no. But I, I love red because like most artists, when you see them, they usually sketch in red first as well. It's just, it's the start, the, it is color of the start of something new. It's rough around the edges. It's, it's full of a, a potential. That's what it is. It's the color you use to catch people's attention. It's the color of just the start of something new, in my opinion. So, yeah. I, I love Amber the color Sandy red. Is, Amber is a pyromania. That. Again, yes, but actually, no. Uh, <laughs> I, I love the color red, just of all its associations with doing things, because... Amber wants to burn everything down and start anew. No, if I didn't do the things I have done, I wouldn't be the person I am right today. Another thing I want to say, oh my god, speaking she on the topic, it. shut up, on the topic of being active. <laughs> um, yesterday, I for my acting class, I had to watch a play, and I shit you not, it, I hated the story. I, 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 I stayed because the actors worked hard and they deserved the audience. That, I also paid for a ticket, so I'm not walking out on my money. Um, but... Of course. 
the entire play was basically about these three sisters who kept saying they wanted to go back to Moscow, but they never actually tried. They just kept saying, I want to go home, I want to go home. And I'm like, just, then just go. Why are you living your life passively? If you want something, go for it. Because, because Moscow. And then like this one, okay, one of the main characters, oh my god, he had, she had a guy pinning for her for five fucking years, all right? Every time, I don't love you, I don't love you. And then when he finally died in a fucking duel, she's like, oh no, I'm like, dumb girl. Are you shit, now you're gonna, you kept saying you didn't love the guy and now that he's dead, you actually what love him? fucking simp. And what I'm, fucking simp. And I was just kind of like, oh, no, 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 you don't get a right to mourn him, okay? He gave you everything in the goddamn world, but you still have the audacity to tell him that you don't love him, and now you're gonna cry for him, even though you kept breaking this man's heart for five fucking years, and the only reason why you, you were going to marry him is because he was loyal? Are you shitting me? Girl, what the- mm-mm, nah -uh. <laughs> You have no right to complain about the man's death, all right? You did nothing to stop yeah, him. And he died. Him. No, no, let me finish. He <laughs> died because he was defending your goddamn honor. Are you shitting me? Oh, my God. Uh-uh. You didn't deserve that simp. That's all I got to say. I was I was Very furiated good. on the behalf of a simp, all right? Because he clearly put in honorable effort. He never pushed her to do anything wrong. He, he never tried to force her to do anything that she didn't want to do. Every time that she was looking down, she, he came up to her and said, Look, you're the most beautiful person I know. I know I can't do much for you right now, but I just want you to know that I care about you and I love you. And I'm like, he was a respectable simp, all right? And this, for five fucking years, this girl was like, nah, bro. And then the day he <laughs> finally bit the dust, she was like, I don't know, my love. And I'm like, fuck you. You, you never said you loved him. <laughs> So Enter. I just got back. <laughs> <laughs> I think I missed something. Yeah, yeah. a bit of I, drama. Yeah. I had to watch it a I had to watch a play last night for my acting class, and there was this woman who had a respectable simp after her, I, and then after he died defending her honor, she decided to tell him that he that she loved him. Mm, uh, no, sorry, I'm, what? I'm with you. What's the name of the play, by the way? Three Sisters. Three Sisters, gotcha. Yeah. What? Oh. I'm sorry. Namaste. <laughs> he was a respectable simp, yeah. my guy. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I got, I was seeing, I was seeing red during the play because they were, they were just the entire. It was a sad play. Amber, you're Asian. Become Buddhist monk mode, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like the institute. The entire play, it was one of those plays that was, had a sad ending and everything, you know, it was meant to be sad and all that, you know, fun stuff. And I'm just like, you, there are so many ways there was, you could solve your problems if you just went for it. Well, that's just it. That's the whole point of the play. Like, I know, sad, and that's why it angered me it. so much, because like the end, dude, the husband, oh my god, I'm going so, there's four main characters, right? There's three sisters and a dumbass brother who's actually really smart, but he's incredibly stupid, okay? Because he married a bitch, all right? Let me get started with you. I've got all something right. to say on this particular trope, but I will wait for you to finish. All right, listen, 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 okay. This woman, I call her a bitch because uh, this family grew up slightly rich, so they had a maid in the play, right? This the so this girl who marries into this family after the maid grows old right you know after 30 years of service she kicks her out because she's no longer useful and she calls her a, a, an old hag again i am saying the character not the actor the actor did an incredible job of portraying a bitch but she herself is, is not yeah shout out to the actor she wanted me she did such a good job i almost wanted to punch her in the face okay but i did it because i recognized those acting recognize the difference between acting and real life people but long story short the character oh my god she won she marries into money it's not her money uh all right so do not act like you own the world woman when you didn't work for it you married into it all right you don't have to write to tell people when you came from the same background of them that they are servants and that they are low. You don't say that to people. 
and in the play i watched her kick out this old woman who sat because she sat down this lady who worked for the family for 30 years decided needed to sit you know sit down okay and this old oh and this wife no no, no this horrid per piece of trash excuse of a wife told this poor old lady you can't live here with us go into the country and die because you're no longer useful and i'm like okay i know this is acting enough but i want to commit Amber. crime but i did it because i recognized i was acting Amber. <laughs> what you, you realize that this is not a pg stream you can say bitch i'm trying my best to get monetized but that's <laughs> It's not um, gonna happen. You know this. <laughs> although, although someone someone said fuck earlier, so we're over. Yeah, it's over. But it, it's very entertaining. So let me continue. All right. So, all right. Oh, oh my God. So, and then this woman again. She marries into the family. Starts tr see, uh, treating the sisters like trash. Okay. And like, hey, I just had a baby, and like the baby doesn't like their room. Buddy, they're a baby. They don't have interior design skills yet, okay? A room's a room. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's a critic. All right, now let me fit. Okay, and this. And this. Okay, and this. This woman, all right, runs up to the youngest sister and it's like, "You need to move in with your older sister, okay? This is no longer your household. It's my household." I'm like. Okay, hold on. Who said this was your household? Because you married into this. And and then the brother. Oh my god, the dumb brother who was going to be a scholar but decided to become a fucking clerk. Jesus Christ, man. Grow backbone. I was like, yeah, no, she owns a house now, guys. I love my wife, so she can do what she wants. And I'm like, thank god I am not your sibling. because I would have I would have slapped you so hard you would go to Kansas, all right? Thank you to Minecraft. I was I was listening to this and the sisters just took it and I'm like are you serious he mortgaged the house so the wife could have more money uh, he so mortgaged the house that he grew up in because the dead said he was collecting from my understanding of the play was because the wife's expensive taste and style are you shitting me and the sisters were just like the sisters just allowed it to happen literally there were there were there were, all the sisters were passive throughout the entire play again it's not the fault of the actors it's the fault of the characters and the entire time i was trying my best not to be a disturbance because i was just like fucking go for it you dumb <laughs> one of them was, <laughs> one of them was a teacher who didn't want to become a headmistress and then she became the headmistress because she fucking settled one of them married a teacher because he was smart but he didn't love her Oh, no, but she didn't love him and then she fell in love with the colonel but she didn't want to divorce him and the colonel didn't want to divorce his wife even though they were making out in the middle of the fucking set and i was just like mm. anyway. <laughs> uh... oh and don't get me started with the younger sister the younger sister had a guy pining her for her for five years and he was respectfully pining for her all right do you understand how rare that is to be respectfully pining from a distance like god damn all right and the guy was hot all right the actor was hot <laughs> so like <laughs> and I are just... you okay no i'm not because that was three hours long <laughs> no <laughs> i had to watch no i could not listen listen we had olive garden right before then so we tried to sneak in olive garden breadsticks but apparently we had people walk up to us and say we were distracting the actors because they couldn't make out the objects were holding in our hands and they're they we're just trying to figure it out and we're just so yes we brought breadsticks into a play because olive garden gets unlimited breadsticks <laughs> as you should Yes. And we got told to put the breadsticks down because the actors couldn't figure out what was happening because we we're just eating breadsticks on popcorn and they we're trying to figure out what, what the hell was in our hair. Because Why are they looking at the um, audience. Because they're acting, really they have to look when they do monologues, they have to look out. That's what a monologue is. Uh the actors just confused by your breadstick power. It was... They couldn't handle the power. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Okay. Oh, anyway, and then like again, the colonel was married to an abusive, manipulative Power. wife who would threaten him, who would threaten him by saying that she would kill herself if he didn't come home immediately. And I'm like, dude, leave, 
Leave the woman. Marry leave, the. Leave, leave. leave the. If, if your partner is threatening self harm because you don't do something they like, that is an abusive tactic. They need help, and you need to get out. Okay? Do not let that. <laughs> you should not be. Gaslighting. You. That is not healthy. And this guy. Oh my God. You are making out with one of the sisters already. Jesus. Just leave the woman. Take your kids. They're clear. She's clearly not a good influence. And go to. The, and marry the girl who knows how to play the piano that and all the musical notes that you like. You dumb moron of a colonel. Huh? You in charge of the battalion. Anyway. And it, all those music notes like D and C and F. Oh my god. Oh, and, then, geez, and then there was the doctor. And the doctor was a drunkard the entire time. And he's just like, you know, I loved your mother. It's a shame she didn't marry me. And I'm just like, you don't tell that to the kids. You don't tell them to the kids. <laughs> the entire play. I loved your mom. Wish she was. Wish she married me. I'm gonna drink now, Amber. and I'm like, bro, you gotta, you gotta get some help, my guy. Oh, Amber. what? Amber. <laughs> ah, I'm fine, man. I'm gonna just keep well, going out of chat like no, this. No, you're not. We oh, hope you all enjoyed this stream of Amber Reacts post. Uh... <laughs> Actually, do you guys want me to do a react stream to like? If we, if we want to, we could do a watch along and I just start ranting at the dumbest shit. Oh my god. Oh, we can watch five, five minute crafts. No, I refuse to watch five minutes craft because that's promoting bad, uh, some things are very dangerous and I don't want to do that. Yeah, you can bitch at them. No, but I, I'm still giving that's them a still platform. Exposure. Yeah, no, that's, that, that's a moral thing, dude. No. Um, we can watch Jamie Oliver make fried rice. Jesus Christ, no, dude. One rat and like here's the best oh, part. Okay. Oh, there's support for reaction streams. They, they want reaction streams. All right, I'll do reaction streams. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But Let's anyway, listen, 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 listen. Sh rice. Shut up. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> we'll sit. Listen. What we'll do for next stream, we'll have a cursed uh food stream. When you find the worst videos of food making, you can put them in a playlist, and I'll react to that for next stream. Deal, steal. That that is your homework for this week. Um, but. Do you know how easy that is? Yeah, that's why it's your home. It's your only assignment. Uh, <laughs> but and here's the best. Okay, so the play starts at. So here, let me give you a whole play by play of yesterday. All right. So as you guys know, I get out of work at five. Okay. Uh, we agreed because uh, I don't. I didn't bring my car down to college because colleges will nickel and dime you for everything. So I didn't get a par uh, parking space here. So one of my classmates uh, offered to be. Uh, carpool so she picked us up at 5 15 so i couldn't even go back to um my place we get to olive garden i did not know you had to tell them to stop the cheese uh <laughs> what? They tell you have you never went? been to an olive no i have never been to an olive garden what have am i what restaurant? <laughs> how the fuck have you not been to an olive garden it's me anyway i go to the olive garden and the guy doesn't tell me <laughs> let's shut up let me finish okay i went to the olive garden the guy just starts going at it with the cheese all right he doesn't tell me to tell him when to stop so i'm so <laughs> my friends are watching my eyes grow larger as the guy just cranking at it and i'm like and my friend's like i you know you have to tell him when to stop right and i'm like and this is after he gave me mount everest cheese all right and i was just like sir please stop he's like okay and then <laughs> And he goes to my friend, and then he starts grilling out the cheese there, and runs out of cheese, and he pulls a fucking Reaper from, like, Overwatch and pulls out another one. You know, like, the fucking shotgun reload? <laughs> he takes out another one, he keeps going at it, and I'm like, hey, why are you starting the cheese? <laughs> going and going. Are the it's just going and going with the cheese. And then, so, so finally, we sit down, I, we, we finish the food, it is around 6, uh, 30. What? Finish all the cheese. Of course, I paid for it. It's cheese. Uh, <laughs> you didn't pay for it. Well, well, it came with the meal, so technically I did. Um, so. For saying the water you paid for. Yeah, fair enough. Breadsticks. Okay, listen here, man. I asked for a to-go box of breadsticks. All right, I, I knew where the the play was gonna be long, but we didn't know how long the play was gonna be. Dead ass. Everyone thought it was gonna be a two-hour, one-hour, forty-five minute play. All right, we walk in there, and they said. We will have a 20 minute intermission at this time. And we're like, that's kind of late. And he's like, well, it's halfway through the play. And we're like, what? And they're like, yeah, the play's three hours long. Sometimes it runs to three th hours and 30 minutes. So that's why we have it on a Friday night. So three college, no, four college students look at each other. One of them still hasn't turned in their statistics test yet, okay? The other one 
it's clearly hung over from Thirsty Thursday. And they look at the two girls because there's Thirsty two- Thirsty Thursday. That was Veterans Day. Nobody was school. No, everybody was doing their own thing. And they're just like, yeah, we that's out. It, that's fair. So it was just me and uh, this other girl, the girl who carpooled me, uh, watching the play. But we had so many breadsticks, my guy. Okay? And like, we had, we had eight breadsticks. I was not going to take any breadsticks nice. home. So what we did is we went to the balcony of the actual play and I gave her a bag and, she, and I took a bag, but we, I forgot we have to wear a mask because it's COVID. So what, what we did, <laughs> we would lift the mask up under the jaw and we shoved the breadstick in. So, I thought you we were would... just gonna say you just shoved the breadstick underneath the mask so it just stuck out. <laughs> the mask just oh stuck God. out. It was just like a doink. Oh my God, oh my God. Kept going <laughs> closer and closer to your face. <laughs> he didn't seem to hold the breadstick. She just kept gnawing on it and it just kept slowly moving into her mouth like a really bad conveyor belt. <laughs> now, just... I was just watching her and I was both amazed and disgusted at the strength of her jaw because she did that for three hours just slowly conveyor belting breadsticks into her mouth <laughs> until we were told to stop because one of the actors, the colonel, looked up and was giving us a monologue and he paused and we thought it was, you know, intentional, but apparently during the intermission, he said he got distracted by a weird floating object coming out of somebody's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then and she's like, so I stopped because I didn't like the breadsticks. <laughs> I turn around to my friend and she does the thing where you open, where you take off the mask quickly, bite something, close it. She's like, <laughs> I'm like, I want, it was just a fluid motion. It was like she trained for this, my guy. I was shocked at how, the speed in which she finished train bread. Hey, I it, trained for this. Okay. I, I, Finally. But We're the opponents. She, she did it. Finally. She was so good at consuming breadsticks, man. It made me so, it was like, why do you have this skill set? Like, just straight up, why do you have this skill set? Breadsticks are good. I understand. But you, and, but you, to deploy it during a play, oh, my god. Yes. Oh my god, so that happened. And then, so we're watching a play. And so, in the beginning of the play, they're students, all right? They're not Broadway actors. I'm not expecting a you know, top 10 performance from them, but one of them started pulling an Eminem and just going Speedy Gonzalez fast. And I was just like, what are you saying? Who are you? Why 12 people on stage? Who's who? Who are you? Who am I? And I just, I didn't know what they were saying half the time. And like, literally, dude, I was zoning out until one of the characters slapped the youngest sister and I saw red hey. and I was just like, excuse me, what? Um, and I was oh, like, <laughs> and that, yeah, and I was like, that's when the anger started, my guy, because at first I was just kind of like, eh, I paid for this. I got to do it for class. And then I started getting passionate, not because I liked the play, because of how much I hated the fucking story. All right. <laughs> You, listen, listen, you missed you miss the entire context of the first act. The younger sister is actually the worst character in the play. They're the evilest evil in the whole story. Dude, they were just all passive. <laughs> all the characters, they were just saying, we want to go back to Moscow. We want to go back to Moscow. Why can't we go back to Moscow? Because you don't save. Oh my God. And there's just, Jesus Christ. Amber, what? you don't save? I, and I wanna, Amber, and I want to go back to my old planet, but you destroyed my spaceship. Fuck you. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem, all right? It's it's a character because he's an alien. Um, that that sounds like a you problem. Get good, rebuilt. Anyway, uh, so this place doesn't have the parts. So, again, sounds like a you problem. But so you broke it. So, as soon as I find my fly HM, I'm going back to Kanto. <laughs> okay, anyway, so I'm, I'm watching this play, all right? And the guy that slaps her, everyone had a visceral reaction, right? Because she's the young sweet sister of the play. And this guy just out of nowhere, slap, like literally slaps the actor. They practice slapping. This guy committed to slapping. I was like, oh, damn. Uh, this guy likes slapping. <laughs> yeah, Honestly, like- Honestly, in an acting situation, I give full permission to the other actor to just slap me for the play. No, yeah, that literally, he committed. And I, and I like, appreciate that. He committed, and like, the girl, she did she did a good job taking it, man. I was just like, 
what? I like, dude, I was processing. It was still echoing in my head. It was All right. Sensual. It was not. It was. Oh my god. Like, dude, I. And then I was watching it, and the guy was like, "Listen, I love you. Ever since I set my eyes on you, I knew I had." That you had to be mine and i would kill any of the competition foreshadowing um and i was just like girl report him report him tell your sisters tell your brother tell the actual police officers you live in a military town come on and she's just like i'm tired i'm gonna lay down and sleep now and i'm just like what are you Me? and i was just like wait wait wait, wait. you just got assaulted and you're and like now here's now here i will be honest i will say this Everybody processes trauma a different way. Sometimes you are still processing it yourself after it happens. It, I am not shaming anybody who takes time to report it. What I'm angry about is she never, ever, ever told anybody that she did not feel safe around this man. She did not feel comfortable with him in the household. She just allowed him to keep coming back. And if you feel unsafe around anybody, if you found feel dangerous around, in danger around anybody, you tell people. Because that will- Well, Amber, give her the benefit of the doubt. She might have enjoyed the slap. Steel, not- not- <laughs> Listen, man, enough, dude, when I'm getting serious, don't come back in with a joke. I'm, I'm just saying, man, like, that was a, ser a little serious montage right there. Uh, when I'm ranting, yes, but when I pause and slow down to enunciate my words, maybe not exactly okay. a good idea to put that joke right there and then. Just saying. Okay. Um, but if you feel like you're in danger, if you feel like you're not in a safe environment, reach out for help. You are not any weaker for doing so, and people, it should never look down on you for reaching out for help. Agreed. So, if you are in a dangerous situation, reach out for help. You deserve it. You're you are not doing anything wrong for saying I don't feel safe. Okay, anyway, back to the play. So this woman, oh, no. this girl, never, ever, ever tells anybody that this man threatened to, you know, kills uh, any of, you know, kill his competition. The competition, the respectful simp is his best friend. <laughs> and I'm like, are you sure? Ooh. I'm like, are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? You're not gonna tell- You're gonna kill your best friend? What are you? Oh, I know what you are. You are a bad simp, okay? We have two simps in this play. You ain't the good one. Oh my god. And like the doctor- Only two? Well- No, well, no, yeah, no, there's three- there, there's I, a... I, ima I, I imagine this is a Highlander situation where all the other simps have been eliminated and it's down to the final two. There can only be one. Yeah, basically. <laughs> At the very end, there only was one. Uh, but what happened? And then the doctor. Oh my God, the doctor. It's like when he when he heard that a duel was going to happen between the two, he's like, yeah, "I'll watch." <laughs> I'll watch. And we're just like, "Wait, wait, 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 wait." And he's like, "You're just going to watch?" He's like, "Yeah." I don't remember how to do medicine. I want to see how this turns out. And I'm like, "What?" Bad move. <laughs> And, I love his character already. <laughs> and then he, he, dude, his entire character throughout the movie was, I loved your mom. She didn't love me, but I loved your mom. And I'm like, oh my yeah, God, shit. shut up. What a dude. What a guy. Oh man. Oh, man. Dude, I, I came up to this entire play that this play was happening. I was writing a better play in my head, in my opinion. Okay. I told my roommate and I told my friend afterward what my play was, and they're like, yeah, I wish we watched that instead. I'm like, I know, right? Jesus Christ. Dude, I spent the Amber. last monologue writing a play in my head because I was sick and tired of everyone going, one day, one day we'll go back to Moscow. One day I wouldn't work at the potato factory. And I'm just like, are you shitting me? Potatoes? Potatoes? I love a potato. But yeah. Anyway, that was Amber's rant of the day. <laughs> Olive Garden sponsorship win. Oh yes. uh, man, a reaction stream. Okay. Unlimited breadsticks and parmesan. Oh, yeah. This uh, video is not sponsored by Unfortunately, yeah, I know, right? So let's see here. Let's get that Olive Garden sponsorship. Yes. 
yes. All right. Oh, how the hell do you guys even think of monetization? She mentioned the incidents about finding. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> uh, I, I'll be real. I forget what we've talked about five minutes after the fact. So <laughs> it'd be like that. I mean, there's some people who do get monetized, and you wonder how the hell they get monetized. It's really weird. Uh. Mm. Uh, man. Yeah, sorry. I went on a large rant. I have no idea what's happening now. <laughs> I wish someone timed that. If if any if any of you are watching this on YouTube later, um, or like watching this back, I mean, uh, would you mind would you mind timing it and putting in the comments how long that rant went? So funny, funny. Or so like putting or like putting a timestamp where it started and where it ends. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hold on, see rage. Yeah. Oh man. Da, da, da. Oh man. Oh my, my roommates God. are texting in the group chat that none of them remember what happened last night, and they're just being like, oh, I remember. Alright, so, all right, yeah. I'm, I'm catching up with a chat now. It's been a long time. Uh, yeah. So, at the very least, it started at 11.23. Oh, Matthew wants to make an uh, uh, animatic of this. Dude, you have permission to use this audio. Go ahead, man. Just uh, um, source the audio in the description. You guys are allowed to repurpose this however you see fit as long as it's done respectfully. And remember, yeah, we do credit. Credit, people, credit. Ah, oh, what a... <laughs> with a brief intermission of breadsticks. Yes. Oh my oh, god. right. There was a question asked um, fair, fairly at the start of the rant. Uh, oh, Solar was wondering about um, the breadstick see, map. Oh. One of Amber's eyes is usually drawn black and was wondering if there was a lore reason for this. Or what was what was the question exactly? Uh, I, I gotta I scroll back that. a long ways to find it, but it was something to that effect. You got a character that's depicted with a black eye. I was curious. What's the um? Was? Hold on, let me draw what I saw last night out of my friend's mask. It was this. This is a breadstick. This is what I saw last night. When I turned to look at my friend watching to play. Oh, I need to see this. I need to see this. I need to go on stream. I have not seen this thing the whole time. Because I've been in bed. She was just eating a breadstick. <laughs> and it just slowly kept, like, climbing through, like, into the mat. It just kept, just a slow conveyor belt in. And, like, I was just like, this is my face when I saw her. I, I turned away from one second and I looked at her and these were my eyes. I was like... Bro, how you do that? I was like, whoa. I think I've done that before, actually. <laughs> like, I was just, like, mid-play, like, my brain just died. I was like, what, what you, you know, doing? the way I, it's the fact that the way I envision it is the mask is, like, three feet out. It's, like, at least, like, half a foot right. out. See you, Carrie B. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Carrie. Yeah. You know? Dude, she just straight up just... She, just chilling, she, just chilling with a breadstick that slowly just and like when she was done, she just shoved another one. I just like she did it for like four breadsticks, my guy. Only four. Well, we only. Numbers. Yeah, it was that tricky. Yeah, I was just like she just she just sat there watching oh, the play man. with a breadstick. If you are eating half of the breadstick with every bite, well, it was a three-hour play. She had to make them last. Oh, that's true. She yeah. just that she okay, and then when we finally got caught, she did the thing where like, she does like where she, you look around for a second first to make sure no one was watching. You know, like the quick like, uh, eyes back and forth kind of thing where you look this direction. And, you know, kind of thing. And then you look in the other direction. Kind of thing with her mask on. And what she would do, she would hold the breadstick like it's a goddamn shake, all right? She would hold it behind her back so people can't see it. <laughs> she, she's like, she's holding the breadstick. She's hiding the breadstick. She has a hand covering the breadstick, okay? So like the guys can't, so nobody can see her holding a breadstick. Like she's she's hovering over it like a god, like a tiny sword. And then like once you like you know she looks back and forth, mouth. The mask is like just hanging off one ear, all right? Hanging off one ear, and she consumes. Just, a, just the biggest curvy mouth you can imagine. Just breadstick. Amber, are you okay? <laughs> I watched somebody 
do a Black Ops uh, mission basically with breadstick consumption. It was weird. I'm making ribs. Do you want some? <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> Just like this They're was. Really good. I, I believe you, my guy, but we're not on topic of ribs. We're on topic of breadstick consumption. Do you want me to make you some breadsticks? No. <laughs> no, man. I'm good. But yeah. I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure. Steal. Drop it. I'm sure. Uh. Don't want my dog to We're done. Yeah. Steal. It's okay. I, I don't know why, but I have the sudden craving to go to Olive Garden now. Oh my god. Mm, so do I. <laughs> but yeah, that's there. Oh, and now, so that, that was the breadsticks. Um, as for your question about um, the red eye, Amber technically has three designs. I think we already went over this in some of the old streams. Um... Let's see, I'm gonna- Sorry guys, we're going out of light mode. Three, two, one, light mode. I'm actually out of five seconds too late, so I didn't see it, but- Oh, okay, well there you go. I'll assume that synced up well. Yeah. Um, the reason why is because I want to quickly draw Amber. So you guys can, like... Uh, so Amber has the default one right we have right here. Which is, you know... Uh, the round character, just all white with red highlights. And then, so just like, this character. And then her red ants. Ignore my anatomy. I'm, I'm going speedy, I'm going fast this one. Yay. <laughs> And then we have inverse amber, or red eye amber, as we come came to na uh, name her as originally as it is, which is you know the red version. Again, it's fast, speedy, speedy legs. And this version has one eye in the middle of it, oh. with fangs coming out. So it's like an eye mixed with mouth. Uh, I really appreciate the real thing. I really appreciate the Dan the man. Wait, white skin and red eyes? She's an albino. Hold on. I was laughing at that earlier. I hadn't put that together. So, yeah, so we... Well, I'm going really fast here, unfortunately. So they're not really the right colors. Hold on, let me change this quickly. Da -da 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 -da. So get the, let's do this quickly. Okay. Ooh, da, 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 da. There we go. So there you go. See inverse. Um, and she has a black eye. Here. I mean, I, I think I have her better depicted in the community post, in my first community post, the red eye. Yeah, sure. something like that. I have, like, that was the first depiction, the red eye. And then the one when she has a black eye is kind of the in between. It's the um, in between form of these two. So it's like. Amber slow because what happens is the mouth opens and connects to that eye. I'm hungry. I we know steel. I'm we know. hungry. I'm Landon. God dang it. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> that will never not be funny. Yeah, I know. Thank you, Dad. Do not start a dad thing in chat, I swear to God. <laughs> Steal! You will have to answer for your sins. Never. And then this one only has one, like, bang coming out of it. And yeah, the top. Oh, no. Yeah, we also have sussy amber. God, we I- We do also have sussy amber. I guess we do. But yeah, I- that's why I showed yeah. earlier the different concept art because I wanted to explore the anatomy of this version a little more because 
the head has to open diagonally. And that works well for like this uh, circle uh, head shape that the cartoon version has. But if I want to make a 3D model of that, so we can like have a reaction, like an emote where she has her head open, I think that'd be kind of cool. Like a Halloween one. But yeah. So that's why, so when one of her eyes is uh, black, that's like mid uh, change. Because the eye and the mouth pair together. That's what I, her design is unique by, is because, you know, there's a lot of characters that mix eyes and mouths together, but I have yet to see somebody pull it off like I have. Maybe it's because it's incredibly difficult, but I'm too stubborn to care. That's sus. Amber's confirmed to be an Eldritch Horror. Yep, that's how this works. Plot twist, the eye is normal. Amber's brain. <laughs> but yeah, so like, just quickly drawing I, that I character. A warlock patron. <laughs> what? Amber's what? your patron. Oh no. If oh you want God. to make me your patron for like a warlock, that'd be funny. Oh my gosh, what would that even be? Well, the thing with Amber, like, at least with the channel that I've decided I want to do, I love to make stuff. So Amber could be, like, a world builder. Like, you're allowed to make anything. Like, you know, like, she gives you the power uh, to no, create. No, no, no. Or is, that, is that not how it works? Too much? No. no. There's Too different. Much. A lot of power. Well, like, like, here's what I mean. Like, she could allow you to make the rough draft version. So it's not set in stone. That's why you she, remember she's only one color. She's not complete. Yeah, yeah. There's something. What happened to uh, you know, green and uh, blue? It's like, I want to say great old one, but it's like I, I want to say great old one. Amber doesn't have the elder the age. Yeah, yeah, Solar. I'm thinking the same thing. But it's like great old one also implies something that's been here since like the dawn of time, and it's like Amber would be a relatively new elder tour. Yeah, because she's more technology based, as you can Fathom, tell from like Fathom, the setup. Fathom was good work. One, deep one could work. Yeah, Fathom was good work. But yeah, so there, that's there's there's tiny chibi Amber. So that's why her eyes blitz. All right, later, Carrie. Thank you for stopping by the stream today. Yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed the little rant session we had. I have a feeling we're gonna do a lot more rant uh, streams because people seem to enjoy that the most. I guess that is one of my, my prime funniest. Can I get some Kobe beef? Good night, Matthew. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, Bye -bye, Matthew. You. And if you want to go back and watch uh, how I keep my discipline, it's completely recorded. And I did make a little PowerPoint for you. It, so, it's only five slides. Don't worry. I made a little PowerPoint. This, this was a great three hours. Yeah, this has been an excellent yeah. three hours. Wait. We are hitting the three hour mark, by the way. Ah, uh, okay. May have to, we may, may have, have to, to start. Yeah, I think this is a kind of good stream. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish this kind of art piece right here of the three different versions, like quickly like to clean up the. Like, it's a cheat sheet. We're making the triangle of amber here, okay? Mm. Um, we'll do that, and then we'll call it an end. Sound good? Sound like a plan? Sounds good. Let's let's feed Gonzalez this. Da -da -da -da. Oh no! What? Okay, there it is. It disappeared. There we go. Amber is feeding Gonzalez. Do you remember how they? I remember how there was a big scandal with Speedy Gonzalez or something because he wasn't like proper representation, and then like didn't a voice actor came out and be like, "Guys, I'm actually Hispanic." Like. What are you talking about? That sounds familiar. Sounds about right. And I was just like, Speedy Gonzalez was one of my was my favorite Looney Tunes character. I just I loved him. He was I I think he was the funniest. <laughs> what about Tweety Bird? Well, I don't think I saw enough of Tweety Bird to actually en enjoy that well, character. Well, well, I was huge on Looney Tunes personally, so I don't have much. Thoughts on any of them. Wow, 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 wow. 
Steel, how good. much sleep did you get last night, dude? Oh, not enough. More than... You might want to go to back to bed. I say this nicely because you're kind of just... Sounding like you're drunk. Yeah. I'm always drunk. That's... Uh, uh Steel, if that is the case, we gotta get you to rehab. Um, no, I'll be fine. I got more sleep than Thomas. Yeah, well, Thomas is gone now. Thomas knew to take a break. Or, or at least to stop. No, Thomas needed to go do stuff. Ah, uh, I guess that's fair. But still. Thomas has also said, hey, don't worry, I've been up to Well, Steel, At don't compare year. yourself to other people. If you are not doing well, you're not doing well. I'm doing better. Okay. Don't you just love the stag I said? Sure. I'm not showing stream, Steel. Steel, go Ooh. to sleep. Go to bed, Steel. Ooh, I know the I feeling. I just so woke old. up. I don't need to go back to. It's 1 a.m. I need to get up. 1 a.m. Let's let's try that again. <laughs> that was just a simple mistake. Mm -hmm. 1 p.m. I don't want to go back to sleep. Okay. Ooh, speaking of time. Yes. Brilliant, brilliant diamond and shining pearl come out next week. Next deal. Week. Are you excited? I think that's the game. Heck yeah! I fear I it through the eShop and it will be downloading very soon. Very, I'll be able to play that. I'm just gonna go grab it from GameStop. Heck yes. Me and my friend pre just pre-ordered the um, double version. We each get one. Ooh, because that they have good pins one. included. Fuck yeah! Oh, GameStop did a uh, pre pre-order launch. Or pre-launch, pre-order bonus. Yes, for the only for the double version though. Like the cheese ran from oh, okay. last time. Yeah. They've been, yeah they've. I noticed they've been doing that with Pokemon games lately. It's been a little upsetting. Doing what? Mac and cheese. Uh, GameStop will offer a pre-order bonus for Pokemon games, but they'll only give you the like the bonus if you buy both versions of the game. Oh, uh, ooh, that sucks. I don't, think, I don't think they used to do that, but maybe I'm misremembering. No. But I'm just happy because I remembered I had mac and cheese in the fridge. Let's nice. go. That's a win. All right, these are not going to be super detailed. I'm just lining the actual doodles. So, because I do have other plans today that I actually have to get ready for. Oh my God, Amber has. Plan what plan do you have, Amber? Tell me. Homework. <laughs> it's finals week, Is my that guy. It? Is that it? I also have to finish the 3D model. I showed a uh, chat and they liked it. Well, I have. I'm what? This is fun. Yeah, I have fun here, and I. Just, I'm not gonna tell everybody what I'm gonna. I'm not gonna publicly tell everybody what I'm doing. So they'll be like, okay, so Amber is going to this location. Cool, cool, cool. Let's Google Map it. Like, come on. If I'm giving a general overview. Nobody's gonna. Why would I go shopping? Steal. I'm not you. Because it's fun. Steal. Oh, steal. Because retail therapy is not healthy, but very fun. Steal. Do you want to talk? Like, straight up, my guy. That's not healthy. If you're turning to buying stuff as a way for therapy. That's a very expensive very method. As I understand it, it, it is, is a suboptimal uh, process. Yes, it is suboptimal, but very fun. Okay, Steel. I have two exams. Give me a break. Cool. My heart is classy. All right. I've only okay, okay. Real, Thank real you. talk. I've only I'm I am currently in four classes right now because I took one that was like only half session, so I was able to get yeah. through that quickly. I have four classes right now, and only one of them has ever given an exam, and it's terrifying. It's so weird when everyone's talking about getting ready for midterms and none of my classes are talking about it. I'm like, what is happening here? I don't know what to think. If anything, I call that as a win, dude. Yes. Yeah, I have like an exam every week at least. Bro, really? Yeah, that's why I've been like low to Because <laughs> I'm fucked. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like, <laughs> study. Still. Tap pad, my guy. Go get some sleep. Or, like, go get some water. Go get, like, go for a walk. Process life. I think I 
yesterday trait. <sighs> that's yeah. a joke, that's a joke. I didn't actually drink. Oh my god, steal. Well, no, me and my friends did a single shot, but that's, that doesn't count as drinking to me. Steal. Amber, you know one shot doesn't do shit to me. You might want to stop while you're ahead. Because you're you falling behind. Or behind. Quit. You're quit. falling. Yeah, I was about to say, quit while you're behind. Yes. Steal my guy. I you're you're not. I lovely mac and cheese, and I hung out with my best friend yesterday. Okay. Cool. We're I happy for you, Steel. Uh, uh, so Alright. Why did you go eat those I'm leftovers, Steel? Because I'm not hungry yet. Okay. Is that a good reason? I guess. I don't know, man. You kind of came into a uh, stream and started going, <laughs> red flags. And we're like, buddy, are you okay? Only a couple. Oh, man. Yeah, a couple too many. I'm going to be completely honest. It's fine. Oh, man, I kind of... All right, when I get better at modeling in Blender, I kind of want to... How would you guys feel if I modeled a 3D version of the cartoon version of Amber? Not the, like, realistic one. Like this one right here. Where she's a little more, like, sp Well, cartoon. Ooh, that'd be fun. You should do that. You guys want to see Chibi that? Chibi Amber, Chibi Amber. Actually, we showed we show them Chibi it. Amber already. Yeah, Chibi Amber 3D model. Do it. Okay. Alright, that's my next plan of action when I have time. You never have time. Well, I make time. I'm starting to make more time. Good. That's good. E. Yeah. So, we're just gonna give circle hands for this one. Okay, a little thumb out. So, how's chat doing? After we we didn't really connect after the rant chat. Sorry. What's chat saying? Um. Current discussion oh. is leaning into the direction of talking over the semantics of how an amber patron warlock would work. <laughs> <laughs> so, listen, man, if they want it, I will make a DD a character card for her. And I will have you guys help me make it appropriately. Not just steal. We'll have a we'll have a council to go over it to make sure it's not too overpowered. <laughs> the council. We'll have the council. Do you guys want that? Do you guys want a a, a uh Honest answers. Do you guys actually- we will do it. I will do it. Because I- I want to paint like I did last time. And I know my art style, if I put the effort into it, could be a yeah. good, like, what? Could pull- could be similar enough to a D- an actual official D&D &D, uh, art thing? And because, the man's gay. What? Okay, wait, what are we- what are we- what are we talking? Are you so, just saying, like, you're gonna draw Amber in the style of D&D &D art- like as appears in the books or you mean like you're gonna pull up a 5e sheet and start filling in stats both sick i'm down so if chat really wants it i will give you amber as a D, &D character that you could reference it's up to chat though yes if they don't want it i'm not of, people are currently in chat jumping off of random objects it's... Um, and saying what sexuality they are. Why am I not surprised? Because, well, it started when Dan, uh, Dan the man jumped off the counter and said he's gay, and now Solar jumped off a bridge and said he's bi. I'm happy for both of you. <laughs> but don't- uh, but please stop jumping off the counter, it's not safe. <laughs> NSFW in the chat. <laughs> Yes, we all know you're an ace trainer. Your point? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is happening? It, Dan. <laughs> what are y'all talking about? Dan just jumped off a wheelchair and said, I have crippling depression. <laughs> Dad, no! <laughs> Dad, no! <laughs> the reference to a mine is good. Uh, I have triple of the uh, I haven't seen that. Uh, that's not. That's an uh, I dubs thing, isn't it? Okay, he's mean. Yeah. I had a feeling that was a meme. Yeah, no, that was uh, from I dubs when it was wearing the green suit back in the day. 
Oh man, that was when I Dub was allowed to post that hair cake. Oh, congrats, Solar. Mm hmm. What happened? Solar, I'm proud of it. Good for you. Congrats. Yeah, yeah we support that. We support. Yo, buy rights, though. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you are not hurting anybody, be or pushing upon anybody something, you can do whatever you want. That's that's my personal opinion. You're not affecting me. I'm not affecting you. Do whatever, be and do whatever you want. Add word watermelon hand. Okay, listen here, Steel. That was not me. That was Dan. Okay. Oh, oh well. Look, look, look. I may be out of it, but not out of it enough to think of Edward Watermelon Hands, alright? No thoughts, head empty, only Edward Watermelon Hands. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, have Red Eye cosplay that, maybe, for next Halloween. Hair cake was a Filthy Frank thing, not iDubs. Oh, that was Filthy Frank? Dang. But wasn't he part of it? I forget. Commit forest fires. Uh, no. No, I don't think I will. I like the forests, thank you very much. We had enough fires. William Osmond's uh, house burned down in a forest fire. And that video made me very sad. He's one of my favorite YouTubers, William Osmond. When he posted that video where he said I was done, I was like, Oh, oh no, don't leave, please, not another good one. I felt so bad for him. I guess he was he was genuinely suffering and I like I saw that and I was just like, oh yeah, maybe you should go. If you're not happy doing what you're doing anymore, dude, it's Yeah. Big sad. Amber, are you happy? Of course I am. I'm doing what I like want to do. I'm a lot happier than I was back then. So. That's good. Yeah. I'd be happier if I could live off this, but. I am happy as it is now. I'd be happier if I didn't have exams. Still, we know. We all would. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just live my life, apparently. <laughs> Okay, listen, Landon, your yeah, your I school like semester is an abomination, all right? It's so it's so weird. So I have no exams. I have less classes than the average student, and I still feel like I'm having a hard time keeping up with classes, man. Well, what are you taking? Because that like some classes are just that hard. They're not. I'm I'm just that no. Um, I've got a class on. Okay, so this is the fun one. It's a class on tarot cards, which requires an essay like once a month or so, which is honestly my favorite class so far. It's been really interesting. It's been, it's actually like talking about how to like read tarot cards. It's not like a history. It's like actually how reading works and stuff. Oh, that's cool. We could do a tarot card reading stream once if that's ever, I don't know. How do they work? I'm going to be real with you. I'm still deciding if I'm comfortable actually doing tarot card readings. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, There's, you're fine, dude. Yeah. But, it, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, um, the other thing is then after that I've got a class on video game engine development, which is interesting because the class sounds like it should be neat, but it's boils down to copy paste what the professor's doing and the explanations for why we're programming what we're programming and what code we're using is very minimalistic and more often than not i'm writing code that i don't know why i'm doing it Ooh, yeah that's not good that's not I know how you that learn coding it's it's really bad i know that we use I remember there was like a long equation where we had to do like inverse matrix multiplied by another matrix and i'm like I don't know why we're doing this, man, but apparently this is what makes the code work, so I guess this is what we're doing now. Oh, you're doing, what, like, some form of dot multiplication? Yeah. Damn. Dot, cross products, the whole, it's a, it's a whole fun, yeah. fun I, process. I have to do that on the daily. I hate it. I, 
By the way, if anyone ever asks you when you'll ever use linear algebra in the real world, tell them that video games require it. So, almost never. If you're interested in a 3D video game, remember the pain in linear algebra in vector calculus it required to get you that 3D video game. Time to make a 2D platformer. Yeah, if you do a 2D platformer, you can get away with a whole lot less math. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. 3D games are rough. Um, and don't get me started on graphics, because that requires a whole thing, I'm sure. I know nothing about graphics, but it looks like hell. Yeah, um, graphics from... I had some practice of graphics. You have to define your own object class with the RGB and HTML colors. Yeah. And then from there, you have a subclass of shapes. And then you have a sub, and then a, another subclass of. It's just a lot of subclasses, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's it's a whole. Yeah. Uh, and then, anyways, aside from aside from that. Um, oh yeah, and then he has like weekly assignments, and it's usually it should be fairly easy, but then I procrastinate, and then I don't. Yeah. Oh, oh I have to say. Classes are procrastinations. But anyways, um, aside from that, I've got a class on software modeling, which is essentially like plan. It's it is like the planning stage before you hit like actual code for when you have those massive projects and you need to understand how everything's going to interact before you just kind of start typing stuff. Which has been, I like it. I like it as a class. I know that it will be very hard to give myself the discipline to like take that time in planning because I usually jump to code. Because I think it's a lot of people's instinct, people just like jumping into code. But it definitely seems oh. like it'll be useful and it's a good way to start out planning. Oh, yeah, there's some... someone saying something? Landon. Yeah. You know what I figured out how to do? What'd you figure out how to do, Steel? I can now make amiibos. Don't tell Nintendo. That's awesome, dude. Congrats. <laughs> Don't call them. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, anyway, and then the final class I'm taking, uh, I'll, get, I'll get back to you, Steel. Final class I'm taking is a class on operating systems. Which Why? It's not studying operating systems. It's like studying the components of operating systems. And oh, it's okay. been... <laughs> Which basically means that most of the time we've spent has been talking about how you synchronize processes, processes, excuse me. And it's been, oh man. Yeah. That one's you, been fun conceptually, but the code for that class sometimes leaves me kind of lost. Like he explains it well, it's just getting myself, getting myself into it, the whole thing. I haven't heard that level of just pain and like hurt and pity from Amber in a long time of the... Why? <laughs> yeah, that's a level of like coding I don't ever strive to get to, dude. It's actually really cool, and we do all our programming in C. And gosh dang, I love writing in C. Okay. I've got I've got some very positive things to say about programming in C. C plus plus I need to learn. I initially don't like it because it's kind of C, but then syntactically very different in ways that are just weird. But I know that it's like, I just need to learn it and I'll eventually kind of learn to like it. But yeah, I love, I love programming and seeing that. I just, I can speak in things. Voice, speak All right, so. Yeah, I'm just saying, <laughs> Has operating systems hurt you? Dude, I don't like having to go through all the operating systems to get to uh, some of the, my files and file directories because that's, I work with uh, SQL, and that goes into databases within the computer at a certain file directory. And like sometimes Windows just is not fun. I have being being in a programming related major has taught me not that I people like ask me tech related questions. Being in this major doesn't make me good at using technology. It's just made me spiteful of all programs that weren't programmed by me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, how's chat doing? It's been a while. I noticed chat got real quiet when I started talking. Yeah. No, you're allowed to talk about yourself, dude. All right, let's start the actual final drawings. Try, Apple Fast. 
from what? the brief exposure King. I had. King. Let Lana finish, then you can talk. Uh, that's good. Solar was just saying, from my beef exposure, I have come to the conclusion that Amber is like one of those community moms. What? <laughs> I'm what? Like one of those community moms. I. Okay. <laughs> I, I. Okay. That's good, right? Yes, Edward. I think so. All right. Edward cigarette hand, lung cancer waiting to happen. I bet he's got a smoking bod. Definitely. Mother God. Christ. <laughs> God. No. Stop. Cease. It's been great having me on the stream. I'll see you all. No. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so next stream, I think we're going to do the Food Rant stream. It's going to be a lot of just like, what is this? <laughs> What's this? What's this? There's something very wrong. What's this? What's this? Steel, why is there a song? <laughs> Don't look at me. I didn't plan this. <laughs> oh no, now it's like we're fishing. Where are these? Where are these? Where are these? Okay. How many videos do you want in this playlist? Enough for an entire stream. So basically all of them. Because worst case scenario, we'll make a part two. Oops. Alright. Are we hearing from Outlaw in a while? How you doing, dude? Outlaw? Oh no. We uh -oh. lost. Did we lose Outlaw? Oh, Outlaw Al 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 just muted. Oh, okay. He'll be back. He'll be back. Like, what? Like, oh. Welcome back. <laughs> we're just like, we have, I haven't heard from you, and you, just, and you just complete silence response. I'm like, oh, oh no. Adios. No, I'm still here. I'm just letting you guys go on. How about I just like link Amber? Instead of like finding videos, I just link Amber a single channel. No. Sure? Yes, deal. We're not giving just credit to one channel. That's fair. Do your homework, Steel. Don't try to cheat. It's not cheating if it's all cursed. Then I don't want to see that because I will cry. If you're sending me Nikki Avocado Man, no. No, it's not like. Uh, no, 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 no. Because it's that's just else. sad, dude. I, I don't. I don't want to promote that. That's fine, Jamie Oliver. <sighs> I can't believe that. If you look back at some of those his old pictures, you're just like, dude. Wow. Landon, do you know who we're ta who I'm talking about? Nope. There is this uh, YouTuber who does mukbangs, okay. and he has done it. He's done so many of them, and he has gained so much weight so fast. He's now considered disabled. And I'm just he's he's it seems like he's dying for views. Seems like that's unfortunate, dude. Well, I don't I don't know what his actual condition is. I don't watch his content. Oh, okay. I just I've seen the before and after pictures and I'm just like Wow. Like, nobody should ever do that to your body. That's all I gotta say. Bobbin. Yeah, we're, we're we're chilling now. We're relaxing. Do, 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 do. Hi. Do, do, do. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are we gonna break out to the musical now? I mean, I'm down. Didaro, 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 didaro. I have a bad habit of just singing. Maybe let's Random. not because DMCA Dude. on here is really bad. Yes. Like, That's actually, the only reason why. I very frequently end up like singing to myself just kind of out of habit. And I have unfortunately found out that I am very bad at evaluating my own volume. Dude, and, it, it be like that sometimes, honestly. <laughs> I remember I was humming in class one time and the guy sitting next to me at one point was like, Hey, do you like music? And just started talking about music with me. Nice. I'm like, dang, that's awesome. I'm very mad. Jamie Oliver took his original Tiger and Curry video down because it was shit. Oof. Making sure that heads match. Alright. Oh. Did everybody say puns? What? Puns? Oh, chat chat's talking about puns now. Oh, there was a whole there was a whole fish pun conversation going yeah, on. Yeah, I was I was trying to think of something and I couldn't. I'm disappointed. I am so out of the loop of my chat already. That's not good. Uh Alright. I work in such an egregious way. You could save complaints. Her what what? Nothing, go on. I work in such an egregious way with art programs that like if anybody sees the file system and how I work, I apologize. I don't work neatly when it comes to art. I just kind of go for it and then something hopefully happens. Okay. Let's see how fast I can finish this. All right, so da -da -da. 30, I was able to create three drawings in 30 minutes. See, I can finish it. Yeah, baby. Yay. Oh, speed. I, I'm looking in the comments of the YouTube video and I'm, I have stumbled upon a pineapple on the piece of the bait. <laughs> hey, uh, let's just say on the record that after this call, I will be getting pizza and there will be pineapple on that pizza. I, I can appreciate that. Oh, also, I need to buy myself a cake. Cake. Okay, cake's based. Cakey. Cakey, yeah, carrot cake. Gotcha, because I, I deserve it. Heck yeah, dude. Get the cake. The choir cake. Oh, only, only, only once a year, but, you know, I'm gonna treat myself a little bit. Treat yourself. My roommate once again told me, yo, you need to go get some lunch. I'm like, uh, okay, let me finish this up first. And she's like, are you drawing the same character again? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> That's the stream. <laughs> that, yeah. And she's just like, oh, okay. Like, wh who, who can I drew? Uh. <laughs> what? Sorry, I just read some uh, solo with Salmon had to say it. What did they say? What did they say? <laughs> Sal Salmon had to say it. It was incredible. What? The God, did what the chat say? What the chat doing? So solo, I can already tell I like you. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I'm just watching. God damn! <laughs> I'm just watching cursed videos. <laughs> We know, Steel. We know. Oh, for fuck's sake. Bye, Steel. No, I'm looking for food. Give me a bit. Okay. Oh, I should just put in some cheese. <laughs> God damn it, Steel. That was a lovely... <laughs> That was lovely, wasn't it? Last time. Last steel. Time. Steel. Yeah. Steel. Yeah. Just yeah. increasing volume of steel. Yeah. Increasing volume of steel. What yeah. about it, yeah, ringtone? I actually don't. Imagine someone just takes it every time I, take, I say steel, make it into a compilation. If somebody puts that much time and effort in making a steel compilation, I will watch it. That's true. I will watch it begrudgingly, but I just gave a promise that I would watch it. 
I'm gonna write that down. Just stale. And if they're able to do it in just ascending steel order, where it just goes like steel to steel, I think that'd be funny. Uh, Solar's got me hooked on these puns now. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why are we talking the metaphors of hooks? Is there a Captain Hook discussion? Oh gosh, I'm running out of fish terms. I know. You guys are talking of fish. That's a little fishy. That was five minutes ago, Amber. God damn it. Uh. Guilt trip is a good one. That, that was solid. Good use of gill. Is somebody just talking to fish puns? Yeah. That's what, got, that's what chat's been for yeah. like five minutes. It's been fantastic. Uh, and apparently that's my... Okay, I need that's an area that I need to improve on. Sea puns. See, <laughs> <laughs> See what you do there. <laughs> no. Under the sea. I hate all of you. <laughs> <laughs> I said Edward Fish hands and it devolved into puns. Yep, that's how we started. How it started, how it's going. It be like that. This is what, that's what always happens at the end of the streams. I just, I don't know what's happening at that point now. We tend to wrap up with some kind of art and then at some point a pun conversation starts. Honestly, I'm okay with that branding. Very vicious. Okay. Listen. <laughs> listen, my guy. Listen. Listen. Solar, holy cow, that was solid. <laughs> listen. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to listen to, but listen. Amber's trying to reel it in now. God, <laughs> mother. <laughs> I should put you on Davy Jones' locker. <laughs> Please do. The <laughs> steel is just done. <laughs> I'm just trying to. This is worse than the food I'm looking at. I find that very hard to believe. Yeah, that's fair. You should. Steel, you sent me to. You sent me the weirdest shit. All prepped and ready to go Halloween night. Okay. <laughs> But that wasn't even prepped and ready to go. I just found that on the spot. Yeah, that shroom evolved real quickly from uh, SCP to cheese. <laughs> I found something cursed. You always find things that are cursed, Steel. It's you. That that is. You're just here for the cursed content at this point. <laughs> you give you give the show a little edge. Was that supposed to be a steep pun? No. Oh, I have a Gordon Ramsay video to put on here. The grilled cheese? We're too merry yep. on to give up now, though. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that, Solar. You got us cracking up. Are you shitting me? There Are you go. shitting me? <laughs> Are you shitting me? <laughs> <laughs> what in the seven Bermuda hell is this? How did I not make a koi joke earlier? That's on me. Oh. Dang it. Alright. Good good claiming of koi. Well done there, Solar. Is it just Solar now giving you guys great puns? Yes. Nice. That's, what, that's where I, we're at these days. Yeah, are... oh, man. Good for you, Solar. Good for you. You're making the two jad jo uh, dad joke, guys. Very happy right now. Yes. This is all I needed for a stream. It's a trap. Yes. What? <sighs> okay. Do do. All right. I like how when I draw her as a cartoon, her hair is very easy. But the second I try to make her real life. <laughs> <laughs> My hopes and aspirations go out the window. <laughs> Goddamn, this hair has no laws of physics. But I'm too stubborn to change it. Uh, Amber, I found the perfect vi curse video for you. Cool. Make that the That's first one or the last one. In the whole world. Yeah. 
No, it's just going in there. It's just going- Oh, so it's gonna be one of those where it's not timed. We don't know when it arrives. Alright. The perfect part is, has to be with your favorite drink. Steal. 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 <laughs> I swear to God, steal. I swear to something that's not holy. Yeah. Whale, 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 what's this? God damn it! <laughs> I'm not even gonna watch this, I just saw the title and I'm confused. It's going in. That's killer. <laughs> oh well. It probably is considering the thing is bacon cheeseburger in a can. What? 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 Still. <laughs> Do I need to put a food? Do I actually have to put a warning on this? Next stream. Content warning. Yes. Might be grossed out. Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> Not going fast enough. Gotta go faster. I remember when I, uh, when I was part of that Twitter war. Um, how fast I was at, at creating those art pieces. That was, that was fast. I, I wish I, to reclaim that speed one day. so not cursed yet so awful. Put it in, put it in. I need to finish it. I need, oh god. Deals towards you right now. Solar, unironically, this is the first time anyone's ever tried to go this long in a pun conversation with me. Oh yeah, my I, god. They're still yeah, going? I, they're still going. I, I have already given up. Damn. Lannon, you gotta win this, guy, my guy. Listen. You're listen, representing the fact us. that we're having a conversation means everyone's already winning. It's not about who gets the last word or anything. Having a pun conversation is its own win. Well, win it for me. There. I'm, I'm pulling a yes. soccer mom. Win it. <laughs> oh, Weep the leg. That's awful. <laughs> <laughs> Background crying. Bake the fish. <laughs> it's, like one of those, it's like when the coach comes up and says, Don't worry, guys. We're just here to have fun. And then that one mom in the background, Screw it. I want my kids to win. <laughs> Landon, win it. Oh. I'm not okay. We know, Steel, we know. No, I just watched... It's an ad. That's the worst part. It's an advertisement. The Grubhub advertisement? No. The official Happy Hot Dog Man. I'm sorry, the what? You wanna yeah. run that by me again, buddy? No, I don't. You... Oh my god. Yeah. I'm gonna turn the. I'm gonna make it like a, a rant section where I just have the highlights of all my rants. Oh. And Steel's dying. Sounds <laughs> 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 oh, like somebody's having fun with their homework. No. No. <laughs> Amber, can we give him a preview? No, we can't, because no. I need to finish this, and it's almost time for me to wrap up as it is. No, steal, steal, finish your assignment. <laughs> I'm my, my, my. Use your big words, steal, use your big words. It's M-Y-R-N-A. How the fuck do you pronounce that? Mirna? Not oh, Mirna. Aunt Mirna's party cheese salad. We'll save that for next time, Steel. I hope you're ready to suffer as much as you're making me suffer. If you're suffering, it's worth it. No, not you. Okay. Because I don't have to watch all of these. Fair enough. I mean, we may not be able to watch all of them, Steel. <laughs> I'm Steel. What did you just say? <laughs> Steel! 
I think you're losing more brain cells than gaining them. Than what? Gaining them. That's always been the case. Damn. This is a related rates problem. <laughs> related rates. No, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> I had no more math. You guys saw my weekly schedule. It's programming, which is a lot You're of math. Cool. There's always math. Well, listen here. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Let's watch two men eat fish cock. Steel, we're trying to get monetized. I know we're failing miserably, but you do not have to help with that failure rate, okay? I didn't do anything. Not the illusion of success, at least. You were saying things that make me very concerned about what your YouTube history is going to look like. Pain? That's one way to put it, I guess. Is he still- is Solar still going with the fish puns? You better believe it. <laughs> no, don't tell me you're gonna eat it. Don't tell me you're gonna fucking eat it. <laughs> we have three different things happening right now and I love it. No, no, that's expired. <laughs> <laughs> Steel is suffering for the content. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like these chibi drawings. That I've done with the characters. I don't know what this art style is. I just kind of threw it on the board. You just came up with something brand new. Congratulations! Yay! I like that we're not going to acknowledge right. whatsoever what Steel has just said. We're we're having a we're having a video. Oh, Steel! It's it's okay, man. You can take a break. Somebody to say something at the hundred different. Steel. It's okay, take a break, my guy. You don't have to finish all of Remember, the Pomodoro effect, the Pomodoro. <laughs> oh boy, I think we're breaking steel. Solid, solid, I'm solid. <laughs> oh, it's her Oh, what? Oh my gosh, okay. Oh man. Landon, how are you doing winning the battle? You're, you're definitely gonna wanna add at least a couple warnings because i don't think people are going to want to see rami all right steel okay i know this is supposed to be a torture stream and all for next stream but uh, uh buddy oh no this is john Chan. <laughs> god damn it god damn it <laughs> you're like wait what god damn it what are you talking you want to run that by me again boy this is john Chan. you want to run Seven million Steel, dear Lord Almighty, what the fuck? <laughs> He's making a turducken. Okay, okay. Okay. Warning, this food is disgusting. Do not watch your YouTube if you're afraid of throwing up through the food. That's gotta be the first warning. All right. Chicken and oranges? What the fuck? Do, 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 do. Almost done. Almost done. Go faster. Oh. Right. Gotta go fast. Gotta go I've fast. not been watching the stream for a little while now, I hope. It looks like everything's coming together pretty well. Yeah, no, I... What the fuck am I watching? What are you talking about? Steel? Steel, there's a time to stop. I think you crossed no. that bridge a long we don't time need ago. Your live, we don't need your live reaction to video we're not watching. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie to you. You just hear Steel dying slop? in the background. What the fuck is fried slop? I don't wanna know yet, Steel. I don't wanna know. I do. Well, that's a you problem, my guy. Doo doo. Oh no, they're southern. <laughs> Sorry. No offense to it comes southern. It's out of people. your mouth. It's just. Oh no, they're southern. <laughs> like, it doesn't sound like you're not saying it, like any malicious hate. You're just saying like disappointed and fear. Oh, they're southern.
Oh uh, man. Yeah, we're adding this. Another one. Another one. Crown roast of Frankfurters. What? All right, real quick. We are at the three. We are pushing the three hour fifty minute mark. Yeah, I'm almost done. Okay. Weight Watchers, nineteen sixty nine. Nice. Do, do. All right. We're just gonna line them, and then we'll just quickly fill this one in with color because one pound of Frankfurt. Steel, it's time to stop, my guy. Take a break. You don't need to keep consuming junk. <laughs> you are allowed to stop. Please stop. <laughs> All right. Ta -da. <laughs> all right. The characters are all lines. I'm not gonna. Okay. What do you think of the style that I just came up with? They're all kind of like bouncy. So um, got 17 videos to prepare for you. That doesn't answer the question, Steel. And also, I'm terrified. <laughs> what do you think of the art style? <laughs> uh, my idea, let me try. Yeah. Red Eye is just gonna get a quick messy fill in. I like. You like the bouncy style? I like the bouncy style. Yeah. I don't know why, it reminds me of like old cartoons. I think I've seen this style before. Yeah, I mean, gonna... yeah like, I don't know yes. where it's from, though. It, it is from old cartoons, actually. I, I could, I would have to pull up something, but yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Nice. Yeah, I'd say that that's good. It's reminiscent. You know, like, old, like, older, like, really old Disney cartoons with, you know, Mickey Mouse and the early Disney characters. Nice. Yay. I made cartoon. <laughs> I will cause anything. Steal. Calm oh. yourself, child. Never. Sounds like a you problem. Oh, Pepto Bismol. Right. Hot dog. Alright. I'm not gonna worry about deleting the uh, overspill, so I'm just gonna make it like a stylistic choice. I'm making a bubbly. There we go. Oh, not sure. Let's see. And I'm gonna turn this off. Turn this off. This off. Ah. Okay, perfect. This there we go. Perfect video. This is all cursed. Perfect. perfect. And then I'm just gonna quickly do the middle one, and then we'll be good, good to go. And that means I would have got three drawings done in less than an hour. Let's go. She. <laughs> what? Oh, lion sinker. Hey, Andrew, you want to video <laughs> that I'm not gonna Thank add. You. What? What did I just miss? No idea. Explanation, please. Amber. I thought it was incredible. Amber. What, Steel? Amber. If I send you a video that I'm not adding, can you watch it now? No, because I'm currently working on something. Damn it. I want you to suffer. Steel, you're like a toddler. Do you understand that? No. no. You look at like Amber. 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 Like, Mom. Mom. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Mom, I want you to suffer! Mom! <laughs> Mom, pay attention to me! Mom! Mom mommy! Mommy! Mom! Suffer! Okay, that's it. I'm drawing a fan art of you just holding, like, my pants leg and just being like, Mom! Mom! Instead of- But instead be like, suffer! Suffer! <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's pretty accurate. You're literally just the toddler of the- of the call. You understand that, right? Mom! Uh, I did just wake up. That's good. Mom, suffer. 
Ah, uh, Oh no. Dude, I've been... Alright, I am actually kind of happy how fast I was able to crank this one out. Because usually it takes me like another hour to finish this. But I think we're doing a good time. Yeah, this is a pretty good time. Mm -hmm. The speed is improving. The speed, it's coming back to me. I am, I am regaining the speed. Speed! But yeah, so here are the some more concept art because I have a feeling people just want concept art of this character now when we finish stream. Because that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. I may be wrong though, and I'd just be a narcissist, but I no one's correcting me, so. <laughs> yeah. Amber. Sorry, sorry, I had a good nautical pun. What were we saying? Yeah. What you doing? <laughs> No, I was just basically saying that everybody seems to be liking how we're ending streams of concept art, so I'm just gonna keep doing that then. I think it's solid. I think it's a good way to wrap Go up. Go for it. Yeah. Finished arms. And yeah, we seem to be able to keep people fished in. Hooked in, man. Come on. <laughs> Hooked in. You made a pun. Amber. I faded you. Damn it! <laughs> You're one of us now. You did just what he wanted. I am a fool. Hook, line, and sinker. Right. We reeled you in. <laughs> just as planned. For real? For real? Are you shitting me? <laughs> For real? You're gonna do a real oh, joke on me? Coffee, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that hand's colored in, that's oh, colored in. Cannon. This needs to be colored in. And guess what I got? Your thought. I haven't got it yet. Brandon? What's up? She may got me Tensei 5. Yo, I've actually been thinking about buying that. I bought it. It's on its way. It'll be here Wednesday. Dude, that, ga that game looks kind of sick. And. Being on Switch, it'll be like the closest thing I can do to play a person, play a modern Persona game. <laughs> All right, is this readable to you guys? I want to make sure that RP is actually readable, not just sloppily done. Yeah. They're still going. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Da -da. The sea pump has not ended yet. I'm gonna call this one transition. Like you know, like a radio trans uh or transmission. Transition transmission? <sighs> or tr I'll just call it just transition. Transition's good. Transmission. What? And then <laughs> Yo, <to> the bow. <laughs> Ooh, I, I need it. I, 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 I need to be black. There we go. Before I forget, let's fix the coloring. Touch ups here and there. Yeah. That was good. There we go. What do you guys think? Uh, I agree with Solar. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> All right. If that's the case, we could wrap up stream here then. We're coming into the port. 
Coming into the- God. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Thank you all for watching. Have we a don't harbor resentment. Yeah. Alright, that's it. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>